हेलो एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स आप सबका बहुत बहुत लाइक वेलकम टू द सेशन टुडे वेरी गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग सोहेल सतीश गुड इवनिंग विष्णु राहुल सैनी क्या बात है वेरी नाइस सोहेल सतीश गुड इवनिंग विष्णु राहुल सैनी वेरी नाइस या सो वी हैव विद अस प्रगति चलो जी शुरू करें सो डिड यू गेट टाइम टू स्टडी यस्टरडे कल कर पाए थे आप लोग कुछ did you get time to do some mcqs how was the yesterday's uh, like uh, night and uske baad din mein kuch kiya good evening everyone good evening raj for your information fyi good evening good evening everyone so beta <coughs> welcome welcome back to this session and uh, this is a, a, an effort you can say hamari sab ki taraf se so that aapka jo ek bahut bada subject hota hai community medicine that we should be able to cover in a very nice manner as revising i'll repeat again this session alone will not suffice aapne ya to purane videos dekhi ho ya kahin class attend kiya ho kahin bhi it's not necessary you have to be with me but uh, anywhere where you have attended ye session aapke pura psm ke upar dhakkan lagane ka kaam karega revision ka kaam karega so hello good evening manish jai mata ki ji ram ram sir namaskar namaskar Vipul Kumar, good evening, everybody, very good evening. So, arise RB1, SK Sharma, yeah, <laughs> very nice, very nice. So, beta, yesterday what we had tried to cover was Mahesh Sen, Satish, very good evening, good evening. Yesterday what we had tried to cover was, beta, we had tried to go through these topics, and. Uh, Unfortunately, we could not cover one small topic uh, environment, which I wanted to do, but that's okay. We want, we are still on time, and I will try to finish uh, today's topic and today's syllabus again well in time. And uh, let's go on. Today, we will talk about primarily about communicable diseases. This is our topic today. We will try to cover questions from communicable diseases, non-communicable diseases, environment, occupational health, biomedical waste management. epidemiology clinical medical research all other miscellaneous chapters disaster medicine international health health communication sociology and health indicators so rda cover for 95% you told 97 beta chris man it is 97 and a half 97.5% is for recommended dietary allowance it takes care of the plus minus 2 sd that is which falls between plus and minus 2 standard deviation Which is 95. बहुत दफा कंफ्यूजन हो जाती है स्टूडेंट को वेदर इट इज नाइनिकली स्पीकिंग बेटर आंसर इज नाइनटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव बट जनरली स्पीकिंग कोई रिकमेंडेड डायट्री अलाउंस ओके सो और कोई डाउट है वी आर ऑलवेज हेयर टू सॉल्व यू और एनी अदर डाउट एनी अदर थिंग Let me know. Chalo, beta. Let's get on and let's get started. Chalo, ji. Bhagwan ka naam leke. Let us pray that jo bhi aaj ham karey kar rahe hain, that should be like some poon, suffal hona chahiye. It should be completely um, uh, fruitful and it should bear the fruits of success for us. And is ab ki baar date so do so upper jayenge par jana hai, right? So calculation of attributable risk. That's okay. We will do. A forty-six year old male presents to OPD. देखें पहला क्वेश्चन प्लीज लुक एट द फर्स्ट एमसीक्यू अ 46 ईयर ओल्ड मेल प्रेजेंट्स टू ओपीडी आफ्टर अ वाइल्ड एनिमल ट्राई टू अटैक व्हाइल ऑन हिज हाइक इन द फॉरेस्ट ही मेड 3 सेंटीमीटर स्क्रैच ऑन हिज लेग ही वाज नेवर वैक्सीनेटेड फॉर रेबीज एवर बिफोर व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इन मैनेजमेंट बताओ जी क्या बोलते हो व्हाट डू यू वांट टू से व्हाट डू यू वांट टू से is it option b c a or d give three dose intramuscular regime four dose intramuscular five dose intradermal or post exposure prophylaxis along with rabies immunoglobulin what do you want to say what do you want to say option d good doctor says b abhishek abhishek says a 
Vasan Philip Abhishek says A, but many people saying D. So D looks like to be a popular option over here. Give post exposure profile access along with a rabies immunoglobulin. Kya bolna chahte ho? That is uh, like finally we got Muskan also saying C. Nobody said C, right? Some said B, some said A. Well, let's uh, Manish says B's D's delta is correct. Well, let's go on and talk about uh, rabies, beta. Do char baate aapko rabies ki before I go ahead. Rabies, if I talk rabies, rabies it is caused by a rhabdoviridae family. Rhabdoviridae family. Beta rabies virus it is of two types. We can have a fixed virus and we can have a variable or a street virus so we can have a fixed strain or we can have a street strain the street strain will have a variable incubation period whereas the fixed strain will have a fixed incubation period the variable the fixed strain will have a fixed incubation period of how much it is around six days it has a fixed incubation period of six days fixed incubation period of six days Whereas variable incubation period could last from something from a few weeks to many years, right? So, ye jo fixed virus hai, isse hum kya karte hai? This is used for vaccines. This is used for vaccines, right? So, now there are different types of animal bites. Different classes of animal bite can be there. We all know there are three classes, class one, class two, and class three. Class one is... Uh, licks or touch on intact skin. Class 2 is laceration, abrasions. Deep tissue injury is class 3. Licks or touch on mucosal surface and any animal, wild animal bite. Any wild animal bite or scratch, it is also classified as uh, class 3 wound. So that is also classified as class 3 wound. So this question, mein, jo ye MCQ tha, so he was... In a, on a forest hike and the wild animal had attacked. So what is this? This is a class 3 injury. This is a class 3 wound injury. This is class 3 wound injury. So beta, jo class 1 hai, is mein hum wound management karte hai. The class 2, we do wound management. Plus we give anti-rabies vaccine. And in class 3, we give wound management plus anti-rabies vaccine plus the rabies immunoglobulin, right? I hope everybody knew about this. And uh, Nasir says photo is not clear. But I think photo should be clear. Background mera blurred hai. But uh, baki sari photo to should be clear. If any everybody is facing a problem, just let me know. If everybody is okay, just give a thumbs up. Okay. So this is class 3 bites. And uh, what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to give the wound management plus anti-rabies vaccine plus rabies immunoglobulin. Pehla sawal, what is the wound management? Wound management is washing under like uh, running water, washing under running water, and that is for more than 15 minutes. It should be for 15 to 20 minutes, at least 15 minutes should be there. Ye MCQ aa sakta hai. And yeah, running water mein hona with soap. With soap and running water and not vigorous. You don't have to vigorously massage it. Okay. So you don't have to vig vigorously massage it. Next is what is the anti-rabies vaccine schedule? You already know that there could be something called as post-exposure prophylaxis. But a post-exposure prophylaxis do kisam ki hoti hai. Ek hamar pas SN regime hai and ek hamar pas Thai Red Cross regime hai. The SN regime that is how many visits? That is five visits. And in five visits, there are five doses. And when do we have the visits? These are on day 0, 3, 7, 14 and day 28. 0, 3, 7, 14 and day 28. So, bilkul hai, FYI, very nice. And Thai Red Cross regime, 0, 3, 7, 14 and 28. 14 wala cancel ho gaya. So, it is how many days, how many visits? It is 4 visits and eight doses it is four visits and eight doses why eight doses because this is intradermal and two doses per visit two doses per visit japni right so very nice four uh four visits and eight doses for thai red cross regime bilkul theek hai aapke concepts bilkul theek hai very nice so when do we have the pre-exposure profile access pre-exposure profile access is given on three visits 
थ्री विजिट एंड हाउ मेनी डोजेस थ्री डोजेस ये या तो इंट्राडर्मल रहेंगी और दे कुड बी इवन इंट्रा मस्कुलर वट एवर इट इज दे कुड बी इंट्राडर्मल और दे कुड बी इंट्रा मस्कुलर एंड इसमें वन डोज पर विजिट जाती है दैट इज फॉर प्री एक्सपोजर प्रोफाइल एक्सेस द री एक्सपोजर प्रोफाइल एक्सेस री एक्सपोजर प्रोफाइल एक्सेस ये आफ्टर वूड मैनेजमेंट इनकेस पुराने टाइम पे कभी पुराना वैक्सीन गया होता है इन दोज केसेज वी गिव द री एक्सपोजर सो री एक्सपोजर में ऑलवेज इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद अड मैनेजमेंट एंड इट इज गिवन इन केस विद इन थ्री मंथस of pre exposure ya post exposure arv is not required and in re exposure there is no need for no rabies immunoglobulin is given in the re exposure very nice hitesh kumar re is two word and two visits very nice re is two alphabets and two visits it is given on day 0 and day 3 yahan tak agar aapko clear hai this is what you maximally require अब इसके ऊपर कई दफा कुछ सवाल आते हैं वॉट अबाउट द इंडिकेशन फॉर री एक्सपोजर प्लीज नोट दैट री एक्सपोजर इज ओनली गिवन ओनली इन प्रीवियसली प्रीवियसली इम्यूनाइज इंडिविजुअल्स इट इज गिवन ओनली इन प्रीवियसली इम्यूनाइज इंडिविजुअल्स एंड ये जो री एक्सपोजर है देर इज नो रेबीज इम्यूनोग्लोबल इन गिवन and in the re exposure profile access it is only after in only after more than 3 months more than 3 months since last immunization since last anti rabies vaccine immunization so yadi purana time pe aapne pre exposure ya post exposure profile access was taken more than 3 months ago in those cases we are going to give re, re exposure profile access otherwise ye nahi jaati hai last point to cover up is rabies immunoglobulin beta rabies immunoglobulin is of two types we can have the human rabies immunoglobulin or the equine human is given at the rate of 20 international units equine at the rate of 40 international units per kg body weight so obviously which one is safer human is safer ye jo rabies immunoglobulin hai it is given in all cases of class 3 bites and class 2 also in case the person is immunocompromised how do we give the rabies immunoglobulin it is maximally injected inside or with around the wound jaise agar yahan pe dog bite hua hai ya koi bhi animal bite hua hai so you give it around the wound and jo bach gaya uska that you give it to the nearest intramuscular site that is given to the nearest intramuscular site so these are some of the uh, uh, important points for rabies uh, immunoglobulin that you need to remember kai dafa ye direct mcqs aate hain do we give rabies immunoglobulin in re exposure profile access rabies immunoglobulin nahi dete do we give booster for prep prep that is pre exposure do we give booster yes it can be given usually around 2 years so do saal ka time hota hai do saal ke baad we have to check for the vaccine न्यूट्रलाइजिंग एंटीबॉडीज वी एन ए लेवल्स एंड इन केस दी एन ए लेवल आर लो तब आप रिपीट करते हो इनकेस दे आर हाई यूजली यू डोंट रिपीट बट आफ्टर टू ईयर्स वी कैन थिंक ऑफ गिविंग द बूस्टर्स विच इज द बेस्ट पीईपी फॉर इम्यूनो कॉम्प्रोमाइज विच इज द बेस्ट इम्यूनो कॉम्प्रोमाइज पीईपी इट इज ऑलवेज इंट्रामस्कुलर फाइव डोजेज रिजीम इट इज ऑलवेज इंट्रामस्कुलर फाइव डोजेज regime till when we can give rabies immunoglobulin after a dog bite it can be given till 7 days can we give rabies immunoglobulin with vaccine yes it can be given can we give rabies immunoglobulin intravenously no never intravenously subcutaneous rabies immunoglobulin kabhi nahi dete it is not given can we give the covid vaccine along with the rabies vaccine yes it can be given covid vaccine and rabies vaccine they can be combined provided like the rabies vaccine because it's a it's a 100% fatal disease we are thinking of so rabies vaccine ka koi contraindication nahi hota it can be given rabies vaccine in pregnancy also can be given why because it is uh, a life saving vaccine right so if you have understood this very few points with the rabies wapas aao so 46 year old male comes to the opd with a wild animal trying to attack and a 3 cm scratch on the leg what is the best answer we will give post exposure profile access with the rabies immunoglobulin that is your best answer option number d option d is your best answer give rabies post exposure profile access 
right? <clears throat> Very nice, all those who had answered D. Next MCQ. So a patient reports to chest clinic with cuff for 7 to 10 days with history of diabetes mellitus and HIV positive like clinical suspicion, the sputum of EFB and chest X-ray was advised. What is this type of screening? So a patient reports to chest clinic. What is this type of screening? What is this type of screening? A patient reports to chest clinic with history of diabetes mellitus and HIV. This type of screening is active case finding, intensive case finding, enhanced case finding, or extensive case finding. So some say C, some say B and D and C and A. Sab kuch, sab kuch mixed Yaar, ye tum log kaise kar sakte ho? We have talked on this so much. We have already talked on this so much. So <clears throat> a few points about tuberculosis, then we will come back to this MCQ. Do char baat hai TB ki. TB beta, what is the strategy that we are having? It is DTPB strategy, DTPB strategy. That is to detect TB, treat TB, prevent TB, and build a structure. What is the TB preventive therapy? We have new therapy that is six months of isoniazid or three months of HNP. Can you please write in the chat box? I'm waiting for you. Okay, what is P over here? Can you please tell me what is P over here? Six months of isoniazid and three months of H and P. Fata fata se likke bhejo. What is P over here? Next is based on 2022 reports. TB incidence India ka that is 188 per lakh population. It is roughly around 200. You can say 200 per lakh population. The MDR TB in India it is four cases per lakh population. XDR is one and TB deaths is 37 per lakh population. Ye aapse purana sawal pucha gaya hai. What is the TB mortality in India? So TB mortality in India. Shivani, yes, very nice. Many say pyrazinamide, pyrazinamide. Pyrazinamide hota to mein aapse likhwata hi kyun? Anju, Rifa Pentin, very nice. Lakshmi Priya Sankar, absolutely. All those who answered it correctly, beta. It is Rifa Pentin. It is rifapentin. So we get three months of isoniazid plus rifapentin. Three months of isoniazid and rifapentin. So TB incidence, TB deaths, Purana Savala beta. This can be asked to you in your exam. What is the TB incidence right now? It is 188 per lakh population. What is MDR TB? Any idea? What is MDR TB? When do you say MDR TB? It is H and R resistance. Dono ho. What is XDR TB? XDR is H and R resistance. Plus any fluoroquinolone plus what is the next answer? Please write in the chat box. Three criteria is ke aapne likhe honge. You must be knowing it. It is H and R resistance plus any fluoroquinolone plus what? Plus what? Plus what? I'm waiting for your answers. Broad spectrum nahi plus what? So XDRTB, what is XDRTB? It is H and R resistance. Very nice, Lakshmi Priya Sankar. Very proud of you, Vita. Very nice. You have done it. You have done it. You have nailed it. It's not canamycin. Very nice, Mayank. It is group A drugs. Any group A drugs. You guys are good here. That's what makes me happy. If you have studied, then you can't do anything. This is the matter. This is final. That you are going to clear the exam if you have studied and if you are honest to yourself. Aapne likha sab kuch hai, but likhte huye dimaag mein, zehen mein gaya ke nahi gaya. That is what is going to decide. Please note, it is not injectables. It is not injectables. Correct answer is group A drugs. It is any group A drugs. What are the group A drugs, beta? What are the group A drugs? If you just want to have a look, group A drugs. These are five drugs. That is lenazolid, bedaculine, delaminate, levoflox, and moxiflox. These are the group A drugs. So it is, what is XDRTB? XDRTB is resistance to H&R. XDRTB is resistance to H&R plus any fluoroquinolone plus any group A drugs. These are the three criteria for XDR. Do you remember what was pre-XDR? Kisi ko yaad hai? What was pre-XDRTB? Pre-XDRTB is H&R resistance plus any fluoroquinolone. So it is something more than MDR but less than XDR. Very nice, bache. Very nice. So, yes, except Levo and Moxie. Kya baat hai, Yogendra? So, that is HNR plus any fluoroquinolone. That is what is pre-XDR resistance. 
So TB TB incidence, bolo mere saath. How much is the TB incidence in India? It is roughly around 200 cases per lakh population. How much is the TB deaths? TB deaths in India is roughly around 40 cases per lakh population. So India mein humne kuch nayi cheeze shuru kari, jisme ek scheme hai, jisko kehte hain TB Mukt Bharat. What is TB Mukt Bharat? That is to give monthly food baskets. It involves community participation. You remember Nikshay Mitra? We talked about the Nikshay Mitra scheme in our classes. Common, it is community participation. Participation. Who is going to give them the food basket? Ye volunteers, hote hai, donors, hote hai. they will get together and do this TB Mukta Bharat. That is to provide uh, uh, nutritional support to the TB patients. Nutritional support. Uh, TB adoption of the patient. Good doctor ko yaad hai. TB adoption. TB patient ko adopt kar liya. Humne palna posna hai. TB marij ko. Sarkar ne ne kuch karna. This is what is TB Mukt Bharat. This is what is TB Mukt Bharat. It is 500 rupees per month. But uh, beta, that is not TB Mukt Bharat. That is under Nikshay Poshan Yojana. That is under Nikshay Poshan Yojana. Next is India mein humare paas TDCs hote hain. What are TDCs? These are TB diagnostic centers. Jahaan pe teen levels of screening hoti hain. Active screening, passive screening, intensified screening. So what is active case finding? Active case finding hota hai. High risk population mein vulnerable groups honge. Urban slums honga. Construction workers honge. Intensified case finding is what this MCQ was. Ke comorbidity screening hoti hai. And passive case finding is any patient who is chest symptomatic. Kitne percent chest symptomatic ko TB niklega roughly approximately 10 to 15 <clears throat> percent of all chest symptomatic who have cough and fever, they will be, uh, they might be showing sputum positivity or they should be sent for sputum testing. So 10 to 15 percent of all the chest OPD, of all chest OPD should be sent for sputum testing that is the that is the indicator under the operational indicator under the program so that is passive case finding ke jitne patient hamare paas chest tb clinic mein aate hain unme se 10 se 15 logo ka hame balgam ki jaanch ke liye bhejna hota hai 10 to 15 of all the chest symptomatic should be sent for sputum testing for afb that is the operational indicator for passive case finding so if you have understood this i think that's all that is required you know that there is Passive case finding, intensified and active. Active case finding is in high-risk groups. In uh, Sorry, active case finding is in high-risk groups, whereas the intensified case finding that is done in uh, TB patients attending for any other comorbidity and passive case finding, you already upload jante hai, that is for evaluating TB cases. Kai Rafai, last point. In tuberculosis, this is a seven-star MCQ point. What are the outcomes of TB? When do you say TB cured? Treatment completed, recurrent TB, loss to follow up and failure of treatment. A very quick recap for you guys. It's already written. Can you help me in filling up this table? Kya aap mujhe ye table fill up karne mein madad karenge? Please help me in filling up this table. Cure TB. When do you say cure TB? Fada fada se, fill in the blank beta. Please start writing. When do you say cure TB? Shabash. Completed treatment. When the patient has completed treatment and has and has sputum negative report at end of treatment and if the patient has sputum negative report at the end of treatment it is very nice it is called as cured tb when do you say completed treatment completed treatment is same answer that is treatment completed and there is no sputum report available there is no sputum report available then the patient has to be labeled as treatment completed when do you say recurrent tb recurrent tb kab kahenge any idea very nice please write down recurrent tb very good very good guys uh, what is recurrent tb recurrent tb is any patient who is any time any time sputum positive after completed treatment any time sputum positive after completed treatment that is called as recurrent TB. Purana naam iska hota tha relapse TB. So completed treatment ke baad any time if the patient is having sputum positivity that is called as recurrent TB. When do you say next MCQ? When do you say loss to follow up? Who's going to write this? So loss to follow up, loss to follow up, loss to follow up. 
What is the best answer? So loss to follow up has started on ATT and discontinued treatment for how much time? Very nice, which is CMBBS. Proud of you guys. Very nice. Thumbs up for you guys. Shavash. Aise chalte roho, aise badte roho, yaar. Koon rukega tumhara? Itni mehnat karenge, to sab kuch milega. Very nice, bache. You guys have done it. So started on ATT and discontinued treatment for more than one month. That is called as defaulter TB. Next is failure of TB. When do you say failure of TB? I think pehle student ne kisi ne likha tha. Uh, Failure of TB, when the patient is sputum positive, Swati, very nice, FYI, very nice. You guys have written it, Swati Kumari, very nice, beta. So when do you call it failure of treatment? Failure of treatment is when the patient is sputum positive, even at fifth month of treatment, fifth month of treatment, or anytime sputum positive after previous sputum negative report anytime sputum positive after previous sputum negative report ye baat hai mere shero shabash aapne hila ke rakha hua hai very very nice i'm so proud of you very nice guys let's get going and uh, let's talk about the answer for this question what is the answer for this question that is your screen sorry for uh, scrolling up and down but that's how the software is a patient reports to the chest clinic with cuff for 7 to 10 days with history of diabetes mellitus and hiv so patient ko already koi na koi comorbidity already hai so patient is having diabetes mellitus and hiv my clinical suspicion sputum for a hiv a afb and sput a chest x-ray was advised what is this type of screening it is intensified screening so b is correct very nice beta proud of you guys b is correct beta option intensified screening let's go to the next mcq tb program done hai na? So, next MCQ, malaria, treatment of five months pregnant female from Telangana with diagnosed plasmodium falciparum. We have less time. We want to be in time today. Treatment of five months pregnant females from Telangana with the diagnosed falciparum. Oral chloroquine, IV artisunate, oral ACT, SP, oral ACT, AL. Kya bolte ho, Shero? <coughs> Uh, good doctor, I have seen doubt. Dekh liya. I'll just come back to this. So, IOC for diagnosis of TB in India. What is the investigation of choice for diagnosis of TB in India? So, investigation of choice for diagnosis of TB in India. It is sputum for AFP. Sputum for AFP. Please note, kai dafa exam mein aap se investigation of choice puchenge. Investigation of choice, beta, for TB in adults, it is sputum testing. Other investigation of choice for TB in HIV cases or immunocompromised, then the answer is CBNAT. I hope you remember what was CBNAT, cartridge-based nucleic acid amplification test. That is cartridge-based nucleic acid amplification test. Investigation of choice of TB in children. We start with chest X-ray and Montu test, skin test. Iske baad we move over to CBNAT. Investigation of choice, which is for diagnostic test or confirmation, confirmatory test. That is CBNAT. And the investigation of choice, which is Gold standard in TB, gold standard investigation of choice, gold standard yadi puche, then the answer has to be gold standard for tuberculosis test in India. It is a culture, liquid culture. Liquid culture. Investigation of choice for live bacilli. Agar kisne pucha live bacteria, live bacilli dekne ke liye, what is the investigation of choice? We can have the back tech method or the MJIT method. Ye dono almost similar principles pe based hai. Similar, not same. MJIT method or the Bactec method is for live bacilli. Ye kai dafa students get confused. What is the investigation of choice yaha pe? What is the investigation of choice yaha pe? Good doctor, aap ke liye ye sara answers. So, I think in mein se, there's no MCQ jo iske beyond aega, hai na? <coughs> Start treatment of any TB patient, CBNAT aega. Yes, CBNAT is also known as very nice uh, Ishkereyas. So CBNAT, it is also known as like uh, uh, 
a universal investigation universal investigation so that's what it is universal investigation okay chalo let's get on to this mcq aap log malaria ka mcq kar rahe the malaria ka answer kar rahe the uh, i think most of you had answered c and a c and a treatment of 5 months pregnant female ek to ye pregnant hai pehli baat to yahi hai ki that this female is pregnant and then this is 5 months old female and then she is from telangana teen cheeze isme mix up ho rahi hai and fourth important thing is isko falciparum infection hai these are the four important keywords in this mcq so what do you want to say many people say it is oral act which is absolutely correct answer bilkul sahi bola aap logo se koi aage nahi jayega aaj aaj hum hi clear karenge hamara din hai kya baat hai i am so proud of you i am so proud of you answer is act it has to be given ab to mujhe batate hue bhi लगता है कि टाइम वेस्ट होगा काफी स्टूडेंट्स ऑलरेडी न्यू दिस दिस नॉट अ टीचिंग क्लास बट आई थिंक आप सबको पता होगा बेटा दिस इज डायरेक्टली स्क्रीनशॉट फ्रॉम माय बुक दैट इज वन टच पीएसएम वन टच पीएसएम 40 पेजेस कंप्लीट पीएसएम इन 37 पेजेस सो दिस इज अ स्क्रीनशॉट फ्रॉम द बुक सो थैंक यू सो मच टू ऑल द पब्लिशर्स फॉर हेल्पिंग मी आउट राइट दिस बुक दिस बुक इज वन टच पीएसएम उसका स्क्रीनशॉट है ट्रीटमेंट इन स्पेशल सिचुएशंस बेटा आई वांट यू टू फोकस हियर What is the malaria treatment in special situations? So pregnancy, if it will happen, so pregnancy, my beta, primaquine is not given. Primaquine is not given. It is contraindicated. Primaquine is contraindicated. So in the first trimester, please remember that in the first trimester, the drug of choice is quinine salts, 10 milligram per kg, given three times daily for seven days. That is the treatment in the first trimester. for falciparum infection this is for plasmodium falciparum infections right so second and third trimester may we give act for 3 days without primaquine please note second trimester and third trimester it is given act ya to aap sp denge ya aap al denge where do we give act al where do we give act al act al is given in the northeastern states assam manipur meghalaya mizoram nagaland and natural pradesh tripura these are the seven sister states act al in all other states we give act sp sulfur doxine and pyrimethamine so in all other states all other states we give we give all other states we give act sp yes very nice yogendra it is in the northeastern states act al very nice all other states we give act sp act al mein kya cheeze judti thi rt mithak plus lume fantren rt mithak plus lume fantren it was to be given together rt mithak and lume fantren that is what is act al what is act sp what is act sp act sp is rt sunate plus sulfur doxine plus pyrimethamine that is act sp act sp that is artisunate plus sulfur doxine plus pyrimethamine that is what is act sp so agar pregnant female hogi to wahan pe what is the drug of choice we are giving in case of plasmodium falciparum pregnant female in second and third trimester we are going to give act sp ya act al so what is the best answer over here what is the best answer treatment for 5 month old pregnant female so she is in which trimester she is obviously uh, the female is in the second trimester and uh, she is from telangana so the best answer over here is absolutely correct answer absolutely correct answer it is oral act sp for 3 days that is the correct answer beta please also remember what is the drug of choice for profile access profile access malaria ke profile access ke liye what is the drug of choice it is we are giving chloroquine Uh, sorry we are giving doxycycline not chloroquine we are giving doxycycline for less than 6 weeks and mefloquine if the if the travel is for more than 6 weeks so doxy and meflo that is given in case of profile access okay in case of profile access agar wahan pe treatment failure ho jaye what about the treatment failure so when do you say treatment failure ya to early hota hai ya late hota hai late is after 4 to 7 days early is within 7 days within first 3 4 days only so danger signs on day 1 to 3 with increasing parasitemia that is early treatment failure and late failure is after day 4 parasitological is after day 7 
So in case of failure of treatment, we have to switch over to the next drug. We have alternate drugs from the artemether group. So artemether, artethers, artemisinins, and all these uh, different types of artemethers can be adopted. But yeah, you have example here. What is treatment failure? What is the drug of choice in normal malaria? What is the drug of choice in pregnant female? Bas ye teen cheeze padlo. That is all that is required for treatment of malaria. That is all that is required for treatment of malaria. Next MCQ. Eggs are laid in cluster in sheets and rafts are a peculiar feature for consa machar. Coming to the mosquitoes, coming to the mosquitoes. Eggs are laid in cluster in sheets and rafts are a peculiar feature for and of police, mensonia, q lexia aids. Kya bolteo? Kya bolteo, Shero? What do you want to say? Eggs are laid in clusters and sheets. What do you want to say? In wraps are peculiar feature for Q Lex. Aapka favorite answer. It is always Q Lex. I'm so proud of you. You guys are knocking the door and rocking the exam today. Answer is Q Lex mosquito. Eggs are laid in clusters and sheets and wraps and are peculiar feature for Q Lex. Mr. Horn ki awaj nikli. See dirty mosquito. Yada bilkul. Dirty mosquito. Ganda kaam karta hai. Sare gande kaam Q-Lex ke paas hai. Agar aapko yaad ho Q-Lex mosquito. If we talk about the Q-Lex mosquito. Q-Lex mosquito, what disease it causes? Like it is important vector for Japanese encephalitis. It is also important vector for lymphatic filariasis. How are the eggs? Eggs are in cluster and in rafts. The eggs are in Q-Lex are in clusters and in rafts. It is a bottom feeder with siphon. There is a resting position as hunchback, flight is 11 to 12 kilometers, brown color, big wings, bite in the midnight. Nuisance mosquito, absolutely correct. Culex is called as the dirty mosquito or the new sense mosquito or the nuisance mosquito, right? Aedes, Aedes, if you remember, Aedes ka jo egg hota tha, Aedes, if you remember, Aedes, it was cigar shaped eggs. They were bottom feeders with siphon. Inca flight range was very peculiar. It was only 100 to 200 meters and it was resting inside. It is a daytime biter. It is endophilic biter. It is Aedes mosquito. Aedes mosquito, if you remember, it is also called as a tiger mosquito. It is also called as a tiger mosquito. Anopheles is what we call as a decently, decent or the sophisticated mosquito. Why do we call it as sophisticated mosquito? Aedes, why do we call it as a sophisticated mosquito? Because it is uh, staying in clean, stagnant water, doing boating, no siphon, inclined position, morning, evening biter, spots on wings. It's a beautiful mosquito. It is what is Aedes mosquito, but it kills the highest number of deaths in the world are by Anopheles mosquito. The maximum number of people die because of which infection? It is because of Malaria and Ophelis mosquito. It is in clean water. Mansonia, I think I talked about it yesterday also in the session. Mansonia, it's a rural mosquito. You see stars in the rural area attached to the roots of the plant, squatting position two to three kilometers with aquatic vegetations. Rural mosquito. Remember Mansonia as a rural mosquito. Right, I hope you remember this uh, whole table we had discussed in the, the classes a couple of times. So tiger mosquito, nuisance mosquito, sophisticated mosquito and nuisance mosquito and rural mosquito. So if you remember this, eggs are laid in cluster and in sheets is peculiar feature for Culex mosquito. Absolutely correct, Vita. Which of the following is not a target under the global action plan to control non-communicable disease as a public health problem? What do you want to say? Which of the following is not a target under the global action plan to control NCDs as a public health problem. So 10% relative reduction in the harmful use of uh, alcohol, 10% re relative reduction in the prevalence of uh, insufficient physical activity, 30% relative reduction in the mean population intake of salt or sodium, and 30% relative reduction in the prevalence of the raised blood pressure. What do you want to say? So 10%, 10%, 30%, 30%. There has to be some of the MCQ which is related to this only. And uh, if you recall, I help you remember in your exams, for your exams, that uh, how to remember the non-communicable diseases targets for your exam. Otherwise, it becomes confusing all the time. And uh, NCDs can be asked to you in your exam. So this can be there. Um, what do you want to say? Mostly people are saying option C. Mostly people are saying option C, okay? 
विपुल कुमार सेज ए मोहम्मद तैयब सेज ए ओके लक्ष्मी प्रिया शंकर सेज डी डेल्टा ओके एनीबडी फॉर बी बी क्यूलेक्स इज सो कॉल्ड निब्बा क्यों लाइक उसकी कुछ दस बच्चों की गैंग होती है एग्जिन क्लस्टर होता है बॉटम फीडर पूरी रात जागता है मिडनाइट बाइटर पूरी कहानी लिख दी इश्के रियाज ने पूरी क्लास हमारी रिपीट कर दी एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट इश्के रियाज वेरी नाइस क्लैपिंग फॉर यू वेरी नाइस दस से ग्यारह किलोमीटर रेंज है एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट कमिंग टू दिस एमसीक्यू आंसर शुड बी थ्री जमाल से बेटा वेन एवर द एमसीक्यू विल टॉक अबाउट नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज लेट्स कम बैक टू दिस एमसीक्यू ये गोल चक्कर आपको याद करना पड़ेगा यू विल हैव टू रिमेंबर एवरी थिंग इन दिस इन दिस सर्कल but just let me help you simplify this whole game we want reduction targets kya hai iske targets kya hai chahte kya ho we want reduction in the risk factors theek hai you want reduction in the risk factors we want 30% reduction in major risk factors 30% bada number hai na 30% so 30% reduction you want in two things that is uh, you want 30% reduction in salt intake salt levels salt intake levels and we also want 30% reduction in smoking levels so dono yaad rakho s for smoking s for salt 30% major reduction then we also need we also need 10% reduction in other risk factors 10% reduction in other risk factors jaise ke physical inactivity फिजिकल इनएक्टिविटी जो कि हम और आप अभी कर रहे होंगे फिजिकल इनएक्टिविटी एंड ऑल्सो वी वॉन्ट टेन परसेंट रिडक्शन इन द एक्सेस एल्कोहॉल इनटेक एल्कोहॉल इनटेक टेन परसेंट रिडक्शन ऑफ द एक्सेस एल्कोहॉल इनटेक नेक्स्ट इन लाइन हमें ये भी चाहिए दैट वी वॉन्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट रिडक्शन इसका आउटकम क्या होगा आउटकम विल बी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट रिडक्शन इन हाइपर टेंशन लेवल्स and 25% reduction in the premature cardiovascular deaths cardiovascular disease deaths so premature cardiovascular disease deaths may there should be 25% reduction bas itna yaad kar lo exam mein you will be able to rule out some options so there should be 30% reduction in the major risk factors 10% reduction in the minor risk factors i would not say minor but other risk factors and 25% reduction in the outcome teen cheeze maine aapko padhai hain 25% परसेंट आउटकम में रिडक्शन थर्टी परसेंट मेजर एंड टेन परसेंट माइनर ये ये इतनी सी बात याद रख लो एग्जाम में इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू गाइज सो इफ यू गेट दिस इफ यू गेट होल्ड ऑफ दिस सो इफ यू गेट होल्ड ऑफ दिस प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट अलॉन्ग साइड इसके अलावा फिफ्टी परसेंट देर शुड बी कवरेज ऑफ द एसेंशियल ड्रग्स एंड ड्रग थेरेपी एसेंशियल नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज ड्रग शुड बी एटी परसेंट कवरेज फिफ्टी परसेंट रिडक्शन इन हाउस होल्ड पोल्यूशन लेवल्स एंड जीरो डायबिटीज एंड सो ऑन बट बाकी मेजर एग्जाम के लिए आपको ये तीन चीजें जरूरी हैं मेजर रिस्क फैक्टर्स माइनर रिस्क फैक्टर्स एंड आउटकम रिडक्शन अगर आप ये तीन चीजें जान गए सो टेन परसेंट रिडक्शन इन हार्मफुल एल्कोहल दिस इज ट्रू टेन परसेंट इन फिजिकल इन एक्टिविटी दिस ऑल्सो ट्रू थर्टी परसेंट इन सॉल्ट सोडियम दिस ऑल्सो ट्रू थर्टी परसेंट इन रेस ब्लड प्रेशर नो दिस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इन रिडक्शन इन रेस ब्लड प्रेशर दिस इज फॉल्स आंसर So what is your best answer? क्या मार्क करना चाहते हो आप लोग हम लोग मार्क करेंगे ऑप्शन नंबर डी दैट इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन थर्टी परसेंट रिडक्शन इन प्रेवलेंस ऑफ द रेस ब्लड प्रेशर नो दैट इज फॉल्स इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट रिडक्शन फॉर डिजीजेस बस इतना सा याद रख लो एग्जाम में रूल आउट तो कर ही पाओगे यार ऑप्शन आई डोंट वॉन्ट यू टू रिमेंबर दिस होल स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू कैन वेरी नाइस बट नहीं आता समझ तो ये तो सिंपल याद रखो थर्टी टेन एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट्स इट okay next mcq steps approach include all except what do you want to say steps approach include all except physical measurement blood samples mental stress index and nutrition and demographic profile what do you want to say steps approach hai kya steps approach pehle to yahi pata hona chahiye baad ki baat aayegi uske andar kya hai but first you should know what are steps approach what do you think is steps approach beta what is steps approach steps approach is used for risk factor assessment for non communicable diseases which non communicable diseases specifically talking about metabolic syndrome 
स्पेसिफिकली टॉकिंग अबाउट मेटाबॉलिक सिंड्रोम सो इसमें फिजिकल मेजरमेंट ब्लड सैंपल्स मेंटल स्ट्रेस इंडेक्स इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड एंड न्यूट्रिशनल डेमोग्राफिक प्रोफाइल इज देयर एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट वेरी नाइस ऑल दोज हु हैव डन इट नाइसली एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट बेटा दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर मेंटल स्ट्रेस इंडेक्स सो ऑल एक्सेप्ट मेंटल स्ट्रेस इंडेक्स दैट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओवर हियर it includes nutritional demographic profile it includes blood samples and physical measurements beta steps approach mein teen cheeze hoti hain first is we have questionnaire based jahan pe hum check karte hain socio demographic features tobacco alcohol consumption their lifestyle things then we also have the physical measurements where we check about height weight circumference blood pressure physical measurements kiya and lastly we also have the blood samples the blood samples do cheezon ke liye dekhte hain लिपिड एंड ग्लूकोज के लिए ब्लड सैंपल लिया जाता है सो ऑल दीज आर पार्ट ऑफ द मेटाबॉलिक सिंड्रोम ऑल दीज आर पार्ट ऑफ द मेटाबॉलिक सिंड्रोम मैं ये भी आपसे बात करना चाहता हूं आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू यू ओवर दिस पॉइंट दैट अबाउट हाइपर टेंशन अबाउट हाइपर टेंशन बेटा वट इज वट डू यू मीन बाय ट्रैकिंग ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर ट्रैकिंग ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर वट इज ट्रैकिंग ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर इट इज वॉट लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन इट इज प्राइमरी लेवल और सेकेंडरी लेवल कौन सा लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन होता है विच लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन ट्रैकिंग ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर इज डन इन डन इन वॉट एज ग्रुप इट इज डन इन वॉट एज ग्रुप इज इट अ प्राइमरी लेवल इज इट अ सेकेंडरी लेवल इट इज डन इन वॉट एज ग्रुप वॉट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ ट्रैकिंग ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर टू डायग्नोज बीपी अर्ली और टू make the low bp as low bp absolutely correct beta absolutely correct i am astonished by your answers and aap log aaj pad ke aaye ho seriously pad ke aaye ho you guys are giving accurate dot accurate answers very nice beta what is the level of prevention it is a primary level of prevention it is done in children age group it is done in childhood age group and what is the objective it is to maintain low blood pressures as normal as low only so it is to maintain the low bp as low bp that is what is tracking of blood pressure that is what is tracking of blood pressures next is i wanted you to know what is the rule of halves rule of halves in hypertension with a rule of halves in hypertension it is that out of all uh, hypertensive 50% are diagnosed jitne diagnose hote hain unme se only 50% are treated all those who are treated only 50% are adequately treated only 50% are adequately treated so that is what is the rule of halves 50% are diagnosed only 50% are treated only 50% are adequately treated it is not 90 90 90 it is 50 50 50 please remember exam mein agar aap se nacco program nacp program ke target puche agar aap se exam mein nacp program ke target puche to yaad rakhna 90 90 90 90 what is the fourth 90 that is to have good more than 90% should have more than 90% should have good quality of life the fourth 90 agar aapko yaad ho that is this can be asked ye lately included hai 40% should 90% should have good quality of life agar koi aapse ntep national tb program puche same answer hota hai 90 90 90 that is 90% of all tb patient should be diagnosed 90% to be treated and 90% should be adequately treated ntep अगर कोई आपसे पूछे मलेरिया प्रोग्राम मलेरिया प्रोग्राम का टारगेट क्या है मलेरिया प्रोग्राम का टारगेट है बेटा लिम्फेटिक फाइलेरिया से माइक्रो फाइलेरिया के लिए लेस देन वन परसेंट माइक्रो फाइलेरिया इन चिल्ड्रन एंड हमारा टारगेट एपीआई जो है एनुअल पैरासाइट इंसिडेंस व्हाट इज आई आई स्टैंड फॉर इंसिडेंस इट शुड बी लेस देन वन पर थाउजेंड वी ऑल्सो वॉन्ट मलेरिया के लिए ए बी ई आर दैट इज एनुअल ब्लड एग्जामिनेशन रेट शुड बी मोर देन टेन परसेंट इट शुड बी मोर देन टेन परसेंट नेक्स्ट अगर कोई आपसे पूछे फॉर लेप्रेसी एन एल ई पी प्रोग्राम के टारगेट वी वॉन्ट द प्रेवलेंस रेट टू बी लेस देन वन पर टेन थाउजेंड 
prevalence rate of leprosy to be less than 1 per 10,000. We also want the ANCDR. What is ANCDR? Annual new case detection rate. It should be less than 1 per 10 uh, per 1 lakh. It should be less than 10 per lakh. It should be less than 10 per lakh. And we also want grade 2 disabilities in population to be less than 1 per 10 lakh population less than 1 per 10 lakh population so please note ye nlep ke targets hain agar koi aapse poshan abhiyan ke targets puche poshan abhiyan kal humne baat kiya we also talked about it yesterday poshan abhiyan poshan abhiyan iske targets hain to decrease the low birth weight by 2% per year and to decrease anemia prevalence by 3% per year 3% per year year per year we want to decrease low birth weight and anemia by two to three percent per year nlp ho gaya ntp ho gaya nscp ho gaya agar koi aapse polio program ki baat kare if somebody talks to you about npsp polio program the polio program we want to have is afp reporting rate afp reporting rate it should be more than one afp per lakh per year and we also want stool adequacy rate. We also want a stool adequacy rate of more than 80%. Of all the stool that is collected, 80% should be adequate in terms of quantity, more than 8 grams. And they should be in good in terms of the quality that is a reverse cold chain, 2 to 8 degree temperature maintenance. NPSP, ho gaya, potion, ho gaya, malaria, ho gaya and uh, ntp ho gaya. any other thing npcb what is the target for npcb npcb what is npcb national program for control of blindness and visual impairment npcb it should be less than 0.25 percent blindness in community less than 0.25 percent blindness in community so these are the targets of few of the programs jo mirko abhi zehen mein aare hain ye exam mein kaafi dafa puche jate hain aapse so these are some of the targets which you can remember for your exam and these are very frequently asked to you as well right so iske ilawa kuch aur cheez aapko chahiye sir that is 95 or 90 for ntep currently beta jo 95 hai na don't confuse yourself uh we want that the total number of TB cases should have, TB cases should have 95% reduction and TB death should be 80% reduction. But the uh, target program ko mila hua hai, that is 90-90-90. And uh, lately, humne usko, all states, states which have covered 90, un states ko humne 95 diya. Right? So 95 is not pan-India. 90 is what is pan-India. <coughs> Iska screenshot lekar pa dala the live jingalala. Yes, that is correct. Iske ilawa or koi program aata hai aapko zehen mein NIDDCP. NIDDCP. National ID Deficiency Disorder Control Program. That is to have less than 5% goiter rate. That is to have less than 5% goiter rate. And then we also have NRHM. National Rural Health Mission. Yeah, national health mission is ka target is to have under five mortality rate of less than 25 we also want neonatal mortality rate of less than 12 that is the target for nrhm and the maternal mortality ratio maternal mortality ratio of less than 70 per lakh live births that is for nrhm iske ilawa we also have for the national family planning program national family planning program National Family Planning Program, mein, what is the target? The target is to have a total fertility rate of less than 2.1, net reproduction rate of equal to 1, and a couple protection rate of more than 60%. More than 60%. Right? So, I think that's all. That's all. Otherwise, programs are not going to be in the same way. So, that's all that is required. And... Uh, <clears throat> That's it. Uh, current is 66 beta, but the uh, couple protection rate that we require is 
so that is what is uh, important for us to know right now these are what are the targets under all the national health programs these are what are the targets under national health program okay okay <clears throat> chalo coming back to this uh, question coming back to this question which of the following is not a target aapne bilkul theek bola option number d hum questions the steps approach we have done next mcq coming to the rickettsial disease which of the following is not correct which of the following is not correct for rickettsial disease which is not correct for rickettsial disease epidemic typhus is transmitted by inoculation of infected feces from the louse endemic typhus is transmitted by inoculation of infected feces from flea endemic typhus is transmitted by bite of infected flea q fever spreads by inhalation of infected dust or ingestion of contaminated food kya bolna chahte ho which of the following is not correct for rickettsial diseases epidemic typhus is transmitted by inoculation of infected feces or endemic typhus by inoculation of infected feces from flea endemic typhus by bite of flea q fever spreads by inhalation of infected dust or ingestion of contaminated food what do you want to say what do you want to say b is correct <clears throat> हमने तो नॉट करेक्ट बताना है ना हमने तो नॉट करेक्ट बताना है वी हैव टू फाइंड द रॉन्ग आंसर वी हैव टू फाइंड द रॉन्ग आंसर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट फॉर रिकेटियल डिजीज प्लीज नोट दैट एपिडेमिक टाइफस ये एक टेबल है बेटा दिस इज अ समरी टेबल दिस इज अ समरी टेबल for all the rickettsial disease very important for you to remember that louse is epidemic typhus louse born is epidemic typhus ye bahut zaruri hai bahut dafa pucha gaya hai epidemic typhus is louse born epidemic typhus is louse born it is via prova zaki next is endemic typhus that is flea born next is scrub typhus that is by mite kaun sa mite hota hai isme we have is the trombiculid mite this is trombiculid mites scrub typhus we have as trombiculid mites then we have is uh, rickettsial pox again with the mite q fever may koi vector nahi hota trench fever is again louse born whatever i have encircled these have been previous year mcqs please note if you talk about the reservoirs all reservoirs will be there some animal somewhere uh, rodent somewhere anything but there is one disease jisme sirf human hai about the about the reservoir that is trench fever trench fever is only human uh, iphone pro was zaki very nice muskan you remember the mnemonic it is iphone pro is large that is pro was zaki is laus and uh, scrub typhus is uh, tsutsugamushi and endemic typhus or the murine typhus that is a flea born illness these three have been very frequently asked so now if you just get this get hold of this please note that endemic typhus is transmitted by inoculation of the infected feces from the flea this is correct answer but it is not usually transmitted by the bite of the infected flea because flea jo hai na wo hame bite kar hi nahi sakta it is difficult for the for the fleas to bite these are animal fleas which will bite to humans so endemic typhus is not transmitted by the bite of infected fleas q fever spreads by inhalation of the infected dust and ingestion of contaminated food kaun sa usually dairy milk infected from animals wahan se ye q fever spread karta hai epidemic typhus is inoculation of feces uh, feces infected feces from the flea epidemic typhus is again inoculation of infected feces from the louse these both are true so which of the following is not correct the not correct answer over here is endemic typhus is by bite of the infected flea that is the c is the correct answer to be marked in this question which of the following is not a high risk groups in hiv sero surveillance which of the following is not a high risk group in hiv sero surveillance bolo fatafat se which of the following is 
not a high risk group in hiv zero surveillance female sex workers long distance truckers male having sex with male or transgender population kya bolte ho which of the following is not a high risk group so not a high risk groups googly question hai aap log galat karoge most probably many students will do it wrong which of the following is not a high risk groups dhyan se answer karna but you should always answer so d a d d c d so some people say d many people say d many people say c many people say a fyi b bola swati kumari b boli vishnu b fyi b kyun bolte ho b b kyun bolte ho sumit says b long distance truckers high risk group nahi hai why do you say long distance trucker high risk group nahi hai aisa kyun bolte ho lakshmipriya sankar b sumit b absolutely beta correct answer is option b long distance truckers so agar aap bridge population kya baat hai used remember all the things agar aap hiv zero surveillance ko dekhein if you look at hiv zero surveillance there are three groups in hiv zero surveillance there are three groups in hiv zero surveillance there are three groups in hiv zero surveillance first group is what is the high risk groups high risk groups mein beta female sex workers male having sex with male trans gender population and intravenous drug users ye char log hote hain high risk group mein which are the high risk groups female sex workers male sex with male transgender and intravenous drug abusers then we have is the bridge population ब्रिज पॉपुलेशन में टू पीपल आर देयर वन इज ट्रक ड्राइवर्स लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस ट्रक ड्राइवर्स एंड लास्ट इज इन द सेकंड ग्रुप दैट वी हैव इज सिंगल मेल माइग्रेंट लेबर्स माइग्रेंट लेबर सो सिंगल मेल माइग्रेंट लेबर लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस ट्रक ड्राइवर्स दीज आर द ब्रिज पॉपुलेशन एंड लास्टली वी आल्सो हैव इज द जनरल पॉपुलेशन जनरल पॉपुलेशन जनरल पॉपुलेशन में कौन सा ग्रुप होता है बेटा इट इज द ए एन सी प्लीज नोट दैट टीबी साइट टीबी वर्कर्स फिशरमैन एच आई वी साइट आर टी आई एस टी आई साइट दीज आर नॉट इंक्लूडेड दीज आर नॉट इंक्लूडेड ये टोटल सेवन ग्रुप आर देर विच आर दिन ग्रुप फीमेल सेक्स वर्कर्स मेल हैविंग सेक्स विद मेल ट्रांसजेंडर पॉपुलेशन इंटरवेनस ड्रग एब्यूजर्स हाइरिस ग्रुप्स ब्रिज पॉपुलेशन ट्रक ड्राइवर्स एंड सिंगल मेल माइग्रेंट्स एंड जनरल पॉपुलेशन इज द ए एन सी टोटल सेवन ग्रुप आर देर दीज सेवन ग्रुप आर वट आर कवर्ड अंडर द HIV zero surveillance and uh, very frequently they ask you which of the following is not a high risk group so which is the best answer it is long distance truck drivers they are not a part of the high risk groups in HIV zero surveillance coming to the next mcq which of the following is the best indicator for life expectancy bolo shabash which of the following is the best indicator for life expectancy dali hail hdi ya pqli dali hail hdi ya pqli what do you want to say so what do you want to sumit somwanshi very nice big fan thank you thank you so much beta thank you so much um, which of the following is the best indicator for life expectancy is it dali many people are saying a dali many people are saying a dali is it hail nobody says hail okay is it d delta option d pqli best indicator for life expectancy many say d some say a iske ilawa nobody says b or c c mbbs says c a best answer is option c very nice c mbbs kya baat hai very nice c mbbs it is hdi best indi- indicator best indicator for life expectancy that is the hdi what is hdi it is human development index it is human development index So, ये आपने टेबल बहुत दफा देखा होगा वी हैव इज फोर थिंग्स पी क्यू एल आई एच डी आई वी हैव इज पी क्यू एल आई एच डी आई एम पी आई मल्टी डायमेंशनल पॉवर्टी इंडेक्स एंड जी एच आई ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स बेटा पहला सवाल ये तीनों जो चीजें हैं दीज आर यूनाइटेड नेशन इंडिकेटर एंड पी क्यू एल आई इज डब्ल्यू एच ओ इंडिकेटर पी क्यू एल आई इज डब्ल्यू एच ओ इंडिकेटर्स ऑल दी अदर थ्री एच डी आई एम पी आई एंड जी एच आई दीज आर द यूनाइटेड नेशन इंडिकेटर जो पीक्यूएलआई है इट कंटेन्स थ्री थिंग्स लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी एट फर्स्ट ईयर इट आल्सो इंक्लूड्स लिटरेसी रेट्स एंड इन्फेंट मोर्टालिटी रेट्स एचडीआई इट इंक्लूड्स फोर इंडिकेटर्स लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी एट बर्थ प्लीज नोट लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी एट बर्थ 
PQLI includes life expectancy. Uh, sorry, HDI includes life expectancy at birth. Jo PQLI hai, yaad rakhenge, PQL1. It includes life expectancy at one year. HDI includes life expectancy at birth. And mean school years, expected school years with gross national income, GNI, gross national income. Iske baad kai dafa exam mein poochhenge about a GHI, what is global hunger index? Global hunger index mein again four indicators hai. Under five mal, um, mortality rate, under five mortality rate, malnutrition in terms of wasting and stunting. Under five mortality rate, wasting rates, stunting rates and the fourth indicator is inadequate food supply. These are the four indicators. I'll repeat again, under five mortality rate, wasting rates, stunting rates and inadequate food supply. These are the four indicators in GHI. What are the four indicators in global in uh, human development index? It is life expectancy at birth. Then you have mean school years, expected school years. And lastly, you also have is gross national income per capita income. So please remember PQLI mein IMR aata hai. IMR kisi mein nahi aata except PQLI. Under 5 mortality rate kisi mein nahi aata except global hunger index. So just remember about PQLI and GHI. GHI for India, it is 29.1. India is at the rank of 107 out of 122 countries. Global hunger, the human development index, it is 0.63 with a rank of 132. It is in a moderate HDI. India is in moderate HDI, whereas India is in serious global hunger index. It is moderate HDI and serious global hunger index. Okay, so that's all that you need to remember. Kai dafa aapko confusion ho jati hai, which of the following is the best indicator? Agar koi aapse puche best indicator for the burden of disease. Agar koi aapse puche best indicator for the burden of disease, answer is Delhi. Health status of the population, answer is Hale. Effectiveness of intervention in terms of health utility. Health utility. Health utility, answer is quality. Life expectancy is best given by human development index. Agar HDI nahi hai option mein, then you can go with Hale. What is Hale? Health adjusted life expectancies. Poverty and malnutrition is given by multidimensional poverty index, M MPI, that is multidimensional poverty index. Utilization rates is given by bed occupancy rates. Bed occupancy rates. It is also given by family planning, um, like uh, people who are using any type of family planning methods. You can also check it by fully immunized. You remember, Kalham ne baat kiya tha, fully immunized children and completely immunized child. Healthcare services availability is given by the uh, perinatal mortality rate, overall country development, infant mortality rate. As per United Nations, agar gaya, under 5 mortality rate, MMR is for mother and obstetric care. These are very frequently asked which of the following is the best indicators. These are very frequently asked which of the following is the best indicator for, for these things. So that is what you need to remember for the best indicators. Right? Coming to the next MCQ, as per the revised IPHS guidelines, ophthalmologist in difficult and hard to reach areas is proposed for what? It is proposed for what? In, as per revised IPHS guidelines, an ophthalmologist in difficult and hard to reach areas is proposed for, what do you want to say? Every 3 CHC, every 5 CHC, every CHC or every 2 CHC. Kya bolna chaatte ho? As per revised IPHS guidelines, an ophthalmologist in difficult to reach and hard areas. It is in difficult to reach areas. It is every CHC, they should be there. We plan to have every CHC, but it is not possible to have in every CHC. Right? So for now, answer is every three CHC. Beta, in difficult to reach and hard areas. Ye question hai na? In difficult to reach and hard areas. Googly question hai, the answer is every three CHC. It's a direct question. You just have to remember this point. Next is which of the following diseases are in, included under international health regulations by WHO? Kaun si bolna chate? Which of the following diseases are included under the international health regulations by WHO? Yellow fever, measles and chickenpox, yellow fever, polio, cholera, rabies and dengue, malaria, influenza and dengue. So what, what disease, which of the following is included in the international health regulations? So what do you want to say? 
it is very nice medical diary it is correct answer yellow fever and polio so under international health regulations by who we have couple of diseases c y p i p c c stands for cholera yellow fever plague influenza poliomyelitis and covid 19 and covid 19 cypipc cholera yellow fever plague influenza influenza and poliomyelitis and covid 19 so yellow fever polio these are the two diseases which are included under the international health regulations by who which i so please remember measles or chickenpox is not included these are notifiable diseases out of these which is not every case is not notifiable cholera is not notifiable every case is not notifiable so what do we report only cholera outbreaks are reported only cholera outbreaks are reported every case of cholera is not notified so which of the following disease is included under international health regulations best answer over here to mark is yellow fever and polio myelitis next mcq which of the following is not a function of fascia as per the terms of duty what do you want to say so very nice prince chavra thank you very much notifiable disease what is meant by notifiable disease that they have to be notified right they are pandemic alert in bimariyon ka beta pandemic alert hota hai coming to the next mcq which of the following is not a function of fascia as per the terms of duty kya bolna chahte ho which of the following is not a function of fascia as per the terms of duty health education for pregnant and lactating females screen the children attending anganwadi and local school in the village conduct regular meetings of village health sanitation committee escort pregnant females to hospital for delivery what do you want to say <clears throat> so health education for pregnant and lactating females yes beta this is the correct answer screen the children at anganwadi and local school this is not done by the asha worker who is going to screen the children who is going to screen the children beta it is done under rbsk what is rbsk rashtriya bal swasthya karyakram rbsk is for screening of children who are attending uh, schools or local schools or the anganwadis that is done under the rbsk rashtriya balak swasthya karyakram which is for children 0 to 18 years and it is under the school health program so conducting the regular meetings at the village yes this is done yes this is done escort pregnant female yes this is done health education is done so which of the following is not a function the correct answer over here is option b that is not a function for the asha workers so it is option number b many students got confused by thinking that conduct regular meetings of village health sanitation committee that is not done by asha that is uh, that is actually done by asha worker that is one of the very important and main functions of the asha worker coming to the next mcq phcs are available for providing community based health services the quality assurance and assistance and quality functioning is done by uh, what do you want to say phcs are available for providing community based health services the quality assurance and assistance and quality functioning of the center is done by rogi kalyan smriti mahila mandals village health sanitation committee ya gram panchayat kya bolna chahte ho what what do you think is the correct answer so many people say village health and sanitation committee phcs are available for providing community based health services the quality assurance and assistance and quality functioning of the center so main focus of the story mcq was assistance and quality functioning of the center is done by good doctor says c everybody says d beta agar aap kahin pe classes mein dhyan se sune ho the answer is rogi kalyan samiti what is rogi kalyan samiti these are rks committees these help in uh, quality functioning of the of the health centers rks for sub centers rks for phc rks for chc rogi kalyan samiti mahila mandals these are usually available in urban areas mahila mandals and they are predominantly in mahila mandal smooths are there or smiti is there and they will be taking care in urban sectors village health and sanitation committee that is usually for uh, like uh, implementation of the national health programs 
at the at the village level and gram panchayat is for local governance of the of the villages so mahila mandal is kitty party yes that is correct it is in urban areas mahila mandal is urban areas right so mahila mandal is urban areas chalo very nice beta this is the correct answer rogi kalyan samiti rogi kalyan samiti bed occupancy rate is a type of this is your previous year mcq also bed occupancy rate is a type of what do you want to say utilization indicator service indicator outcome indicator your socio development socio economic indicator the best answer over here is bed occupancy rates number of beds which are occupied absolutely correct absolutely correct answer is very nice it is a utilization indicator we just now have to, talked about this uh, the bed occupancy rates these are nothing but the utilization indicators these are types of utilization indicators very nice so which of the following is not a pillar for primary healthcare setup what do you think which of the following is not a pillar for primary healthcare setup what do you want to say what do you want to say which of the following is not a pillar for primary healthcare setup or system intersectoral coordination cost benefit interventions appropriate technology or support mechanisms kya baat hai aap log ne ratta maar rakha hai very nice so proud of you uh, it is acha uh, ek answer aaya tha wo chala gaya wo answer sahi tha beta uh, people say support mechanisms b a acha sabne ab alag alag answer karne shuru kar diye a b d nobody says c many say b absolutely bache the correct answer is cost benefit interventions they are we yaar simple si baat hai what is cost benefit analysis what do you mean by cost benefit analysis cost benefit what do we mean by cost benefit analysis beta cost benefit analysis aap dekhte hain when you talk about money monetary gains when you talk about monetary gains if you are talking about maine 10 rupaye diye kya mujhe 10 rupaye ki cheez mili that is what we call as cost benefit analysis and what is cost effective analysis cost effective analysis cost effective analysis hum lete hain when we talk about lives affected aur kitni lives aapne uh, affect kari kitne logo ko aapne help kiya ya kitne logo ki madad hui ya kitne logo ne aapke karan koi rozgar paya that is all is lives affected so the government health program they are based on cost effective analysis and not cost benefit so which of the following is not a pillar cost benefit to ho hi nahi sakta are you getting it so the four pillars of primary health care if you talk about what are the four pillars of the primary health care beta there are four predominant pillars of the primary health care community participation intersectoral coordination appropriate technology and support mechanisms made available these are the four pillars of the primary health care equitable distribution community participation intersectoral prasant v absolutely correct these are the four main pillars of the primary health care then sometimes they may also ask you elements of primary health care ye kya the pillars of primary health care ye kya the aapne jo padhe hain these are the pillars of the primary sometimes they may ask you elements elements ka word e l e m e n t s hota hai e stands for education locally endemic disease e stands for expanded program for immunization maternal health care essential drugs nutrition t stands for treatment and s is for safe water and sanitation so these are the elements of the primary health care ye kai dafa exam mein pooch lete hain you should be knowing that which of the following is not a feature of the primary health care setup next is which of the following is not a health care provider posted at a village level ye question maine 2021 mein discuss kiya 2022 mein exam mein aaya this is which of the following is not a health provider at a village level kya bolna chahte ho so this question is is not a Uh, provider health provider at village level this was question was discussed aap purana mera youtube khol ke dekhna 2021 mein i had discussed this somewhere in uh, uh, november december and it came in the uh, 2022 exam it is it is enm anganwadi worker angan wadi worker you remember anganwadi kitne ke liye hoti hai 500 se 800 population they are for 800 to 500 population asha workers is for 1000 population traditional birth assistant traditional birth assistant 
these are some of the females elderly females who are residents of the village and they are they are available for delivery services in the villages that we call them as in many languages we call them as local dai so they are actually trained birth assistants so these all three are available at a village level enm is at uh, a village level only but not in every village they are available in sub centers they are available in sub centers very good so please note sometimes population norm puche jate i'll just spend maybe one minute on this population norm for community health center primary health center so yahan pe humne urban ki baat karni hai and this is what is we have for the rural sector so community health center it is for 80000 to 120000 population phc is for 20 to 30000 population sub center is for 3 to 5000 population community level mein we have is the asha workers one asha for 1000 population that is the current norm however we want to achieve more than one asha per 1000 population in in the urban sector urban sector beta urban chcs these are for 2.5 lakh population in all cities and 5 lakh population in metro cities phcs these are for 50000 population amcs centers these are for 10000 population urban asha workers these are for 1000 to 2500 population if you get single best answer please mark 2500 population but they are generally for 1000 to 2500 population so the staffing pattern you already know that who all are available at community health centers we have is medicine surgery gynae peds plus ophthalmology and anesthesia ophthalmologists and anesthesiologists should be there at every every chc but ophthalmologists have an exception in difficult areas they can be three chcs having one ophthalmologist medical officer enm plus health assistants plus pharmacists they are available at a uh, phc pharmacist is available at phc so that was a brief uh, review of what you wanted to remember for your exam so if they ask you how much is the population norm for each of these asha worker is 1000 usha worker is 1000 to 2500 population or for we roughly say 200 to 500 houses every 200 to 500 houses we should have one usha worker or the urban asha workers anganwadi we can have is for 500 to 800 population or we can also have mini anganwadi mini anganwadi is 150 to 300 population mini anganwadis is for 150 to 300 population health assistant should be for 30000 population anganwadi supervisors 25000 cdpos child development project officers which are in the icds program they are for 1 lakh population mpw should be available at a sub center that is they are for 3000 to 5000 population phc we have already run and chc i would also like to tell you that there is something called as chos what are chos these are community health officers these are basically nursing officers nursing staff and they are available for now we have these available at sub centers if they are available at sub centers or at phc it is called as a health and wellness center health and wellness center what is a health and wellness center health and wellness center is was a scheme launched under the ayushman bharat scheme 2018 comprehensive primary health care setup where we had the community health officers right <clears throat> नहीं 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 इश्क रियाज एमपीडब्ल्यू मेल एंड फीमेल की हमने पोस्ट सी एच ओ कर दी नो एमपीडब्ल्यू मेल एंड फीमेल स्टिल एग्जिस्ट अलॉन्ग साइड वी ऑल्सो हैव द सी एच ओज विच आर सीनियर दैन द एमपीडब्ल्यू सो इट इज समथिंग लाइक बिटवीन एमपीडब्ल्यू एंड बिटवीन मेडिकल ऑफिसर्स एंड द नर्सेज एक नई पोस्ट आ गई दैट इज कम्युनिटी हेल्थ ऑफिसर्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट एम सी क्यू विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट फॉर हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया एज पर आई पी एच एस स्टैंडर्ड वट यू वॉन्ट टू से which of the following is not correct for healthcare system of india as per the iphs standards blood storage should be there at fru treatment of congenital conditions should be there at chcs kit d is available at a phc each phc should have 13 to 14 member staff so which of the following is not correct which of the following is not correct which is wrong answer obvious answer is treatment of congenital conditions these cannot be done at chc blood storage should be there at fru this is important 
this is important it is one of the main things in fru what is fru beta first referral units kit d is available at phc yes this is also correct kit a b and c is available at sub centers kit number d is available at phc kit number e to p these are available at chcs these are the kits which are available in government of india beta kit number a b c is available in sub centers kit d in phc kit number e to p is available in chc each phc should have 13 to 14 member staff yes this is also correct so which is the not correct answer it is option number b option number b these are the kits which i was saying these are the kits which i was saying beta so kit number a b and c these three kits these are available at the sub center kit d is a phc equipment kit e to p these all are available in chcs chc will have kit number uh, e to kit number p okay consider the following and mark the incorrect for nipah virus a few questions on nipah virus Nipah virus is again like it was a boiling hot topic this time. So Nipah virus, it is under the category C of the bioterrorism agent, bioterrorism agents. These are the emerging and new emerging, re-emerging diseases, Nipah virus. So incubation period is 4 to 14 days. Do you think that is correct? Nipah virus is confirmed by viral R RNA, RT-PCR. Close contacts are followed by for two weeks. For development of symptoms, sample collection is done after the admission to the hospital in isolation rooms. What do you think is incorrect? So which of the following you think is incorrect for the Nipah viral disease? Incubation period is 4 to 14 days. Nipah viruses by RNA, RT-PCR. So close contacts is for two weeks. Sample collection for Nipah virus uh, testing. So what do you think is the best answer? Okay, a few questions from Nipah virus beta. Nipah virus, the, the incubation period for Nipah virus, it is 4 to 14 days. That is correct answer. It can be transmitted from bats to humans directly by ingestion. There can be bat to human through fruit ingestion. There can also be human to human transmission, but that is rare. The main mode is, the main mechanism is from bats to human. The case fatality rate is 30 to 45 percent. Please remember that there is a definite seasonal trend in, in Nipah virus. It is usually seen in winter months. The Nipah virus, the sample which is collected, we can collect any type of sample like fruit swabs or urine culture. We can collect the blood or the CSF. Any type of sample can be collected. It has to be collected in strict isolation protocols. It only has to be collected in strict isolation protocols after we admit the patient to the hospital. How do we test it? What is the investigation? The investigation of choice is using the viral RNA RT-PCR. Investigation of choice is viral RNA RT-PCR and once we detect case of Nipah virus, the close contacts, the close contacts should be followed up, follow up for at least 21 days, that is three weeks. They should be followed up for at least 21 days and three weeks and not as per uh, the MCQ which was saying 14 days. So the close contacts should be followed for 21 days. Coming back to this MCQ, if you understand everything about Nipah virus, incubation period is 4 to 14. Nipah case is done by RT-PCR. Close contacts is followed by two weeks. No, that is incorrect. It is for three weeks. This is false op option. And sample collection is done after testing. This is also true answer. So which is the best answer you would like to mark? The best answer you would like to mark over here is option number C. That is, uh, they are followed for three weeks and not two weeks. Remaining everything is the correct answer remaining everything is the correct answer okay so personal protective equipments as face shields are disposed of in which category what do you want to answer personal protective equipments as face shield are disposed of in which category yellow red blue or white what do you want to answer yellow red blue or white personal protective equipment as face shields please note that these are plastic so face shield are plastic so they are disposed of in the red category please note that they are disposed of in the red category absolutely correct they are disposed of in the red category so you already know that these are what we have as the uh, as the personal protective equipment 
the head cover it goes to the yellow category the face shield goes to the red category the mask again goes to the yellow category gloves always will go to the red category apron and gown usually if it is synthetic it will go to the red category whereas if it is semi synthetic semi synthetic it will go to the yellow category the semi synthetic will go to the yellow category and shoe cover shoe cover will go to the yellow category so this is how we dispose of the ppe kits and in case the mcq talks about hazmat suits hazmat suits will always go to the red category because they are pure plastic hazmat suits will always go to the red category right please remember in red category anything which is rubber plastic or tubes like we have is follies catheter euro bags iv bottles drip sets gloves vacuum cleaners rails tube everything will go to the red category anything which is broken glass broken ampules they go to the blue category along with orthopedic implants and anything which is sharps and metals anything which is sharp and metal it will go to the white category i would also like to remind you that blood and blood products please remember that blood and blood products and blood products they all go to the yellow category they do not go to the red category right <clears throat> sir if covid then all is disposed of in yellow yes that is correct in home based covid care it is disposed of in the yellow category please remember that anything which is cytotoxic drugs cytotoxic drugs and their equipment cytotoxic drugs and their equipments and their equipments like the cytotoxic vials and their iv tubes their bottles everything will go into the yellow category right so these were some of the mcqs from biomedical waste next mcq which of the following statement is not correct for air quality index which of the following statement is not correct for air quality index very important mcq and a lot of times it has been asked in your exam about the quality of air carbon dioxide is not included in calculating aqi aqi of less than 100 is called satisfactory lead levels are measured every time to find the aqi radiant heat is not measured in calculation of effective temperature so what do you want to say radiant heat is not measured in effective temperature uh, there is uh, what do you want to say there is a beta uh, before you go ahead there is a disclaimer this question is incorrect uh, which of the following is not correct carbon dioxide is not a aqi of less lead levels are measured every time radiant heat is not measured so radiant heat is measured do it this way radiant heat is measured in calculation of the effective temperature so which of the following statement is not correct if we do it this way if we make it this way which of the following statement is not correct for the aqi please remember that radiant heat is measured it is not measured in uh, in effective temperature i'll just tell you what the problem was if uh, let us talk about the aqi first aqi beta less than 100 it is called as satisfactory less than 50 it is very good but less than 100 up to 100 it is taken as satisfactory aqi air quality index more than 200 it is taken as poor 200 to 300 is poor 300 400 is very poor more than 400 is serious so in aqi bache aqi we measure eight variables and conspicuously in these eight variables carbon dioxide is not measured many students got this wrong so carbon dioxide is not measured can you see particulate matter 2.5 and 10 ozone sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide carbon monoxide lead and ammonia gases so apart from this carbon dioxide is not a part of the air quality index next in line sometimes they may ask you like what is effective air temperature what is corrected effective air temperature beta we might have these five variables that is the air temperature air humidity cooling power air movement and radiant heat how do we check this each you can check it air temperature is measured using thermometers air humidity using psychrometers cooling power kata thermometer air movement anemometers radiant heat is globe thermometer one mcq which has been asked time and again over here is that low air velocity low air 
velocity. How do we measure it? Low air movements. It is also measured by Kata thermometer. Please remember, low air movements is also measured by Kata thermometer. Right? So next MCQ, ye hai, what is effective air temperature? Bache? Effective air temperature, if you see, it is air temperature, air movement plus air humidity. This is called as effective air temperature. This is what we call as effective air temperature. Air temperature, air movement, air humidity, cooling power of air. This is effective. It does not account for radiant heat. Now, if you take everything together, that is air temperature plus radiant heat, this what we call as corrected effective air temperature. Did you get this point? What is corrected effective air temperature? It is nothing but effective temperature plus radiant heat. So radiant heat is not a part of effective temperature. That's what I wanted to say. So if you understand this, radiant heat is not a part of the effective temperature. Now, if you get this question, which of the following statement is not correct? Radiant heat is measured in effective temperature. That is incorrect answer. Radiant heat is measured as in effective temperature. That is incorrect answer. Right? <clears throat> so if you just make it uh, this MCQ as kind of correction, so that was regarding the air quality. Next MCQ, free and combined residual chlorine compounds are assessed in. Free and residual chlorine compounds are assessed in. In what scenario? What do you want to say? Free and residual chlorine compounds are assessed using which apparatus? How do you check them? They are assessed separately. They are assessed separately using what? Using what? C, A, D, D. Orthotolidine arsenate test. Absolutely correct. It is orthotolidine arsenate test. OTA test. It is done using OTA test. Orthotolidine. Absolutely correct. It is done using orthotolidine arsenate test. Please remember a few questions on chlorine. Very frequently asked. How do you check for chlorine demand? It is checked using Horrocks apparatus. Horrocks apparatus. How do you check for chlorine estimation? It will tell us about the free and combined together together whereas orthotolidine will tell us about the free and combined separately separately chlorine level in drinking water it should be always more than 0 0.5 parts per million more than 0 0.5 parts per million in pending outbreaks it should be more than 0 0.7 parts per million and swimming pools they should be more than one part per million. They should be more than one part per million for swimming pools, right? These are some of the time very frequently asked MCQs on chlorine level, chlorine level. Next MCQ, which of the following is not correct for ESI benefits? What do you want to say? Which of the following is not correct for ESI benefits? Enhanced benefit is for 7 to 14 days. Extended benefit for two years, sickness benefit for 91 days, maternity benefit for 32 weeks. Which of the following is not correct for the ESI direct benefits? What do you want to say? ESI direct benefits, which of the following is not correct? So some say C, some say D, D. Absolutely correct, beta. Absolutely correct. Very nice. I'm proud of you guys. It is maternity benefit. It is maternity benefit for 32 weeks. That is the incorrect answer. Why? Because everything is correct for ESI. All are correct. These are all true options. ESI, the maternity benefit is for 26 weeks and not 32 weeks. The maternity benefit is for 26 weeks and not 32 weeks. It should be taken at least like it can be taken maximum eight weeks before expected due date. So before expected due dates, maximum it can be taken eight weeks before. And this 26 week of leave is primarily for delivery services. So sometimes examiners may ask you, what is the sickness benefit beta? 91 days with 70% wage. What is extended sickness benefit? That is for two years, 80% wage. Enhanced sickness benefit, we get it for tubectomy or vasectomy. Vasectomy is seven days, tubectomy is 14 days. Maternity benefit is for 26 weeks. Disability benefit dependent on funeral expenses, 15,000 rupees as the funeral expense, which is paid to the grieving family. 
So that is a brief about ESI. When do we have is the ESI day? When is the ESI day? It is on 24th of February every year it is called as the ESI day. That is the ESI day. Next MCQ, which of the following is not correct for the waste disposal strategy? So which of the following is not correct for the waste disposal strategy? Anatomical waste can be disposed by deep burial methods and biomedical waste treatment facility. Landfills require large area. Septic tanks have primary anaerobic sewage digestion. Inertization is mainly done for laboratory waste as blood and blood products. What do you want to say? Which of the following is not correct? So if you want to find out the wrong one, option A, anatomical waste can be disposed by deep burial where the biomedical treatment facility is not correct. This is true answer. This is true answer. Landfills require large areas. Yes, that is true answer. Landfills do require large areas. Septic tanks have anaerobic sewage digestion. This is also true answer. Inertization, beta. Inertization, it is done for hazardous laboratory waste. No, inertization is not done for the laboratory waste as blood and blood products. It is done for hazardous chemical waste. It is done for hazardous, hazardous chemical waste, industrial waste, industrial chemical waste, which are given by inertization. You make them inert. So it is option D as the best answer. It is option D as the best answer that this, which is the not correct, which is not correct for, for uh, waste disposal. The not correct answer is inertization. That is uh, not correct for waste disposal method. Absolutely correct answer is option number D. Which of the following is caused by the vector shown? We have already done this MCQ. Which of the following is not shown is caused by the vector shown in this image? We have already done this MCQ. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Which of the following is caused by vector shown in the image? But what you see over here, it is a adult most. Uh, it is a adult species of something, and there is larva. One point. Can you difference? Can you point the difference between them? One difference. Can you point it between these two things? The larva has one, two, three, four, five, six, six legs. Larva has three legs on one side and three on the other end. Whereas this fellow, the adult form, it will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight legs. So it has four on one side and four on the other side. That is important point difference between this. So what is this? This is called as a mite. This is a mite. It is a mite. Wow. Uh, can you just uh, give me a moment? This pen just stopped working. So, I don't know. Sometimes things happen. So, let us see if it starts working. Yeah, it starts working. So which of the following? No, it was not discharged. No, 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 no. No, no, it was fully charged. Aisa nahi hota. Aapne itni classes meri attend kari. Have you ever seen me uh, charging a pen? It's always charged. It's fully charged all the time. It just abruptly stopped working. Kahi dafa ho jata hai na? Bande ho dimaag nahi kaam karta to bichare pen ka bhi dimaag nahi kaam kara hoga. So, which of the following is caused by this vector? It is beta a mite. What is it? It is a mite. It is a mite. And mite will transmit what disease? Mite will transmit what disease? Mite will transmit murine typhus. Abhi to kiya ye. I don't know why you are answering Why do you answer uh, this thing? Uh, endemic typhus. Endemic typhus abhi to kiya. It is the only flea-born illness, beta. Epidemic typhus is louse-born illness. Q fever has no vector. Epidemic typhus is louse born and endemic typhus is flea born. Mite born the bimari ek hotiya. This is what we have is trombiculid mite. Trombiculid mite. Trombiculid mites. 
द ट्रॉम्बिकुलेट माइट का जो साइंटिफिक नेम्स है लेप्टो ट्रॉम्बीडियम डेलिंसे एंड लेप्टो ट्रॉम्बीडियम अकमुशी दीज आर वॉट वी कॉल एज द ट्रॉम्बिकुलेट माइट सो ऑप्शन नंबर सी म्यूरिन टाइफस दैट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओवर हियर वेक्टर ये जो है ये म्यूरिन टाइफस है एंड दैट इज ट्रॉम्बिकुलेट माइट ये है बेटा वॉट इज वॉट इज दिस वॉट इज दिस दिस इज वॉट यू सी ऑन द स्क्रीन कीड़े मच्छर का क्वेश्चन गलत हो जाता है क्योंकि आपने सिलेबस से बाहर है नहीं अपने सिलेबस से बाहर नहीं है ये सब सिलेबस के अंदर है वॉट इज दिस वॉट इज दिस ये बिल्कुल मेरे साथ ही लग रहा है मुझे मतलब एक मैं हूं एक ये भाई साहब कीड़ा है और एक ये कीड़ा है है ना ये ऐसे ऐसे मतलब एक मैं आपकी स्क्रीन पे वट आई कैन सी ऑन द यूट्यूब एक मैं हूँ एक ये कीड़ा है और एक और कीड़ा है सो so, मैं मैं हूँ मैं इंसान हूँ ये जो दूसरा आप देख रहे हैं ये कीड़ा है विच कीड़ा इज दिस सर ये है आपका कौन सा है दिस इज वॉट वी हैव इज अ रेडुविड बग ये बिल्कुल अलाइन हो गए ना हम तीन हम चारों लोग दिस इज वॉट वी हैव इज रेडुविड बग वॉट इज दिस रेडुविड बग चागा डिजीज चागा डिजीज बेटा ये जो क्लासेस है ना ये जो ऑनलाइन वाली क्लास है अभी जो मैं आपके लिए ले रहा हूँ ये इसलिए नहीं है मतलब ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज फॉर यू टू रिवाइज बट दिस आल्सो गिव्स मी सम ऑफ द अपॉर्चुनिटीज के जो पॉइंट्स कई दफा क्लासेस में नहीं कवर हुए या कहीं पे कुछ चीज रह जाती है तो ये हम वहां पे भी कवर करते हैं सो दिस गिवस यू एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन सो बेटा रेडोवेट बग चागा डिजीज एंड वॉट इज दिस दिस इज वॉट वी हैव इज द माइट ट्रॉम्बिकुलेट माइट दिस इज वॉट वी हैव इज द ट्रॉम्बिकुलेट माइट एंड ये जो ट्रॉम्बिकुलेट माइट है दिस इज नॉट विजिबल नॉट विजिबल टू नेकेड आई दिस इज नॉट विजिबल टू नेकेड आई अगर आपकी सुपरमैन वाली आंखें हैं या फिर आपकी आंखों में माइक्रोस्कोप है या आपके पास माइक्रोस्कोप है तो आप ये ट्रॉम्बिकुलेट माइट देख सकते हो अदरवाइज ट्रॉम्बिकुलेट माइट आर लेस देन वन मिलीमीटर दे आर लेस देन वन मिलीमीटर दे आर वेरी स्मॉल इंसेक्ट एंड यू कैन नॉट सी them with naked eye however redovid bug jo hai it is also known as the kissing bug it is also called as the kissing bug and that causes the chagas disease right ye kafi dafa exam mein pucha jata hai beta which uh, disease is caused by which vector so please remember louse born infections these are relapsing fever epidemic typhus trench fever and dermatitis flea born illnesses are plague epidemic endemic typhus and uh, plague and chigorosis and tick borne infections these are tick typhus paralysis sand fly is for kalazar setse fly is for sleeping sickness xenopsia chiopis that is a rat flea that is for plague and triatom by bugs or the redovid bugs these are for chagas disease triatom or the redovid bugs these are for chagas disease uh yeah ये एमसीक्यू इंपॉर्टेंट है द मोस्ट क्रूशियल फेज इन डिजास्टर साइकिल इज वट यू वॉन्ट टू से द मोस्ट क्रूशियल फेज इन डिजास्टर साइकिल वट इज द मोस्ट क्रूशियल फेज इन द डिजास्टर साइकिल वट इज द मोस्ट क्रूशियल फेज इन डिजास्टर साइकिल दैट इज ऑलवेज अर्ली रिस्पॉन्स प्लीज रिमेंबर अर्ली रिस्पॉन्स रिहेबिलिटेशन फेज इट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट फेज डिजास्टर मिटिगेशन डिजास्टर मिटिगेशन इट इज लीगल रूल्स to decrease impact of disaster to decrease the impact of disaster we have legal rules and disaster preparedness is just gathering the uh, things for disaster chalo uh kuch questions let me just directly go to one important question panel discussion what is panel discussion what is panel discussion because time abhi kam hai na so i'm just taking selected mcqs what is panel discussion beta panel discussion is series of lecture discussion among friends and colleagues discussion among expert in front of audience and used to solve complex problems kya bolte ho panel discussion what is panel discussion what is panel discussion panel discussion many people are saying option c it is discussion among the experts in front of audience that is the correct answer it is discussion among the experts in front of audience beta what is symposia symposia is what we do generally in your classes symposias are series of lecture series of lecture series of lecture by experts 
series of lectures by expert. These are symposia. Demonstration is what we do in practical classes. We show some things to the class. It involves, it is a very good way to show some technical stuff, technical information. Technical information is best given by demonstrations. Group discussion, six to 12 members will sit and discuss over an issue. And panel discussion, where four to six people will sit together and discuss on the topic. That is discussion among in the people. So it is like what we see on TV, any political issue arises. That is what we have as panel discussion. So the best answer over here is panel discussion. Right? So what you see over here is symposia. These are examples of symposia that a faculty is giving lecture to all the students. This is what we have as the panel discussion. People are discussing in front of the audience. Then you have something called as workshops or demonstration, like this person is demonstrating how to do a cardiopulmonary resuscitation. And this is what we have as group discussion where you have six to 12 members and they are sitting together and they are discussing. Right way of doing things in the society. What is the right way of doing things in the society? Right way of doing things in the society is called as folk ways. What is folk ways? These are the correct ways of performing, how you perform in the society. These are called as folk ways. This can be your expected MCQ, five-star MCQ. This is your expected because there's a lot of uh, times that the question has not come from social medicine. So this topic is like untouched till now. Right way of doing things in the society that is folk ways, right? Coming to the next MCQs, a very quick review, although we have very short time, around 15 minutes, but 15, 20 minutes, I'll try to cover a few questions from epidemiology and biostats. Which of the following is not a feature of cohort studies? Which of the following is not a feature of cohort studies? Shows na not a feature of cohort. Shows natural course, finds incidence, finds risk ratio from effect to cause. Kya bolna chahte ho? Which of the following is not a feature? How can you do this? How can you do this? Everybody in the class, everybody in this session, how can you do this? You can all answer A option. Aap log A mark karna chahte ho. Shivam, good doctor. Aditya, itna pad likke tum log A mark karo ghi. Kya kar rahe ho yaar tum log? Doesn't it show cohort studies? Bhai mere cohort studies. Ye kya likha tha aapne classes mein. All those who have attended the class. Ye direct screenshot mein dikha raho aapko class se. Ye direct screenshot hai class se. Bita kya kar rahe ho tum log? Aise na na karo mere saath. Abhi to jane ka time hai. This is the last few 15 minutes you have with me. You, how can you do this? Abhi tak mein aapke itna khush ta yaar. Ye kya karte ho tum? A answer karo ghe iska answer. That cohort study will not show the natural course of this. This is nonsense answer. Analytical studies, you remember this is direct screenshot from the class. Yehi to likha tha aapne classes mein. That you have is cross-section study. Do you remember cross-section study? You start with what? Total population. How do you do? You do a survey. Prevalence batata hai. Yeh incidence nahi batata. It tells you the snapshot. Case control study, you start with disease and non-disease. They go from effect to cause. Jabki cohort studies, they go from cause to effect. How can you do this? Cohort studies, they go from effect to cause, yeah, cause to effect. Cohort studies, they go from cause to effect. So this is a very simple question. How can you do this question as wrong answer? I thought this is the first question. I will give you 10 minutes to say that in epidemiology classes, we have a lot of time. How can you do this? This is a very simple question. Beta, don't do these questions wrong. This question is between 149 and 150. Ke andar. Ye questions he batayenge aapko that whether will you score 149 or 150. Please remember these silly mistakes will be causing heavy to us. Study of choice. Fada fad say help me out in writing these 15 study of choices and 15 study of choices ke bahar MCQ nahi aata. Please fada fad say very nice good doctor. Galti se type ho gaya that's okay but ye galti se galti nahi honi chahiye. Galti se galti is random errors. Systematic errors is bias right. So study of choice, fada fad se bolo mer saath, likhwao, burden of disease, shuru ho jau, one ke aage kya likhu, burden of disease, it is cross-sectional study, it is cross-sectional study, natural course of disease is best given by cohort study, rare disease, what is the study of choice, rare disease, what is the study of choice, so rare diseases ke liye study of choice is a case control study. For rare risk factor, study of choice is a cohort study. Rare investigation study of choice is a 
nested case control study. Nested case control is a type of cohort study. It is a type of cohort study. Incidence, what is the incidence? Incidence is given by cohort study. Prevalence is given by cross sectional study. Multiple outcomes can be assessed by multiple outcomes can be assessed by multiple outcomes. You take one risk factors and many diseases can happen. It is given by cohort study. Multiple risk factors. You take one disease, you ask them what is the risk factor. It can be done by case control study. Short time taking, you have less time. Best studies, case control studies. Multiple hypothesis formulation. Hypothesis formulation. Formulating hypothesis is done at descriptive studies. Descriptive studies. Hypothesis testing is done at analytical studies. Hypothesis confirmation. Hypothesis confirmation is done in evidence-based medicine or we do it in trials or we do it in experimental studies. Experimental studies. To establish best study, study of choice to establish final causal association that is meta analysis meta analysis or evidence based medicine if you recall from the classes to find attributable risk the best study is to do cohort study to find correlation between variables correlation in variables we do is ecological study ecological study Correlation of variables is done by ecological study beta. These are 15, 16 study of choices. In study of choice ke lava, there are no more MCQs. But any may say he MCQs up there. Thank you. So, saath mein mere ko dekho ab do hante ho gaya. Aapko padhate ho. Saath mein chai bhi mere liye table pe hajer hai. Khane pine ko bhi aajata hai. Bhook lagi hoti hai. Phata bache karo aur tum bhi jao mere ko hi jaane do. Study of choice. What is study of choice? Bol bolo mere saath chala jai mata ki. Study of choice. It is burden of disease. What is the answer? Cross section study, natural course of disease, it is cohort study, rare disease, case control, rare risk factor, cohort study, rare investigation, nested case control, incidence is cohort, prevalence is cross sectional study. Right? Okay. Ye questions are better. Mat jao. Tuzi jare ho, tuzi na jao. ऑलरेडी बात किया दिस इज दी ऑफ वॉट यू वॉन्टेड टू रिमेम्बर फॉर योर एग्जाम दिस इज दी ऑफ वॉट यू नीड and this is directly taken from the classes case study case series cross sectional case control cohort ecological study nrct non randomized trials randomized trials systematic reviews and meta analysis these are what we have as uh, testing of hypothesis formulation hypothesis val validation right <clears throat> so ye sara kaam karna hai this is what is the summary of epidemiological studies fata fat se 10 more mcqs 5 5 6 more mcqs on epidemiology agar aap sahi answer karoge to main sare mcqs karunga nahi to main skip karunga fata fat se sahi answer aapne karna hai epidemiology you have done it too much epidemiology beta and epidemiology is going to give you more ranks ye pakki baat hai ye pakki baat hai a public health physician wants to study the load of hypertension in bangalore to establish special screening and treatment services which design is more useful for this bolo a public health physician wants to study the load of hypertension bolo shabash ab baki session ko chodo bhai sahab abhi 30 number ki baat karo 30 35 number hai pichle saal 40 question aaye the psm mein se 40 question aaye the psm mein se hai na there were too many mcqs बोलो शाबाश पब्लिक हेल्थ फिजिशियन वांट्स टू स्टडी द लोड ऑफ हाइपरटेंशन व्हिच डिजाइन इज यूजफुल कोई ए कहता है कोई बी कहता है जो बी कहते हैं वो क्यों नहीं ए कहते हैं क्योंकि ए इज द सही आंसर क्रॉस सेक्शन स्टडी बेटा अभी तो पढ़ाया लोड ऑफ हाइपरटेंशन लोड का क्या मतलब होता है 
लोड मीन्स टू फाइंड द प्रेवलेंस ऑफ हाइपर टेंशन प्रेवलेंस का मतलब क्या होता है कहां पे मिलती है क्रॉस सेक्शन स्टडी रिवाइंड करो दोबारा सुनो दोबारा आओ रिवाइंड करो दोबारा सुनो दोबारा आओ The natural history of disease is best established by. What do you want to say? Natural history of disease is best established by. Abhi kiya apne natural history of disease is best in established by. Rapid fire round hai. Rapid fire shoot the answer and you will get it. KBC me bhi toh naya shuru ho gaya na rapid fire. Rapid fire karo. Natural course of disease cohort studies very nice. Most feasible design to assess the relationship between breast cancer and risk factor can be established by. Most feasible. Most feasible matlab. सस्ता सुंदर और टिकाऊ सस्ता सुंदर और टिकाऊ सस्ता सुंदर और टिकाऊ बट फटाफट से बोलो आंसर इज केस कंट्रोल स्टडी एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट इन स्टडी ऑफ कॉज ऑफ लंग कैंसर पेशेंट हु हैड डिजीज वर मैच विद केसेस एंड कंट्रोल्स एज सेक्स प्लेस सोशल क्लास the frequency of cigarette smoking was compared between the two groups what type of study is this in a study to assess the cause of lung cancer patients who had disease were matched so lung cancer bimari log uthaye who were matched best answer case control study uttam answer sahi answer mazak nahi kar raha bahut acha answer aap log dant kha ke zyada acha chalte ho shabash mere sheron aise hi chalte raho A researcher calculates the odds ratio in case control study and obtains a value of 2.5. Is ka kya mane hua? What is the odds value indicate? A researcher calculates the odds ratio. A researcher calculates the odds ratio in case control study and obtains a value of 2.5. What does this odds ratio indicate? A strong positive association. Absolutely correct. It is a strong positive association. very nice it is the strong positive association tabash rapid fire round odds ratio less than 1 is called as negative equal to 1 is no association more than 1 is positive association so what is this this is a positive association why positive association because the odds ratio is more than 2.5 thoda difficult question mujhe time lagega aapko samjhane mein but i would like to tell you because bahut students ye pooch rahe the In a study to assess COPD and its determinants, the results are given as given below. Odds ratio plus minus 95% CI. Which of the following does not show statistically significant risk factor? So, just this is very simple. Hota hai, beta. Ye jo hai, aapke isko dhyan se samajna. Jinko aagya samaj, bahut achhi baat hai. Jinko abhi thoda time lagega, wo bhi sunlo. Isme karna kuch nahi. Aapko do steps hai. Dhyan se sunlo. Aaram se suno. पीठ सीधी करो वॉल्यूम अप करो फोकस हो जाओ सुन लो एक दफा द थिंग दैट यू हैव टू डू इज अगर एग्जाम में ऐसा क्वेश्चन आ गया जिसके आने की संभावना है आपके एग्जाम में तो आपको ये देखने हैं बेटा दैट दिस इज द रिस्क फैक्टर्स ये सीओपीडी के ऊपर उन्होंने रिस्क फैक्टर्स देखे हैं इंडोर एयर पोल्यूशन बंदे की उम्र ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टी ईयर्स लिटरेसी रेट ऑबेस्टी ये इधर उधर की बात की है सो so यहाँ पे उन्होंने दिया है दिस आर वॉट आर द ऑर्ड रेशो दिस इज वॉट इज द ऑर्ड रेशो So, कहीं पे ऑर्ड रेशो इज टू पॉइंट फाइव एट वन पॉइंट फोर जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू और वन पॉइंट थ्री इनमें से आप मुझे सोच के बताओ इनमें से सोच के बताओ दैट विच ऑर्ड रेशो आर पॉजिटिव विच आर नेगेटिव सो कॉमन सेंस विच इज अ पॉजिटिव ऑर्ड रेशो पॉजिटिव ऑर्ड रेशो इज दिस दिस इज पॉजिटिव ये नेगेटिव हुई और ये पॉजिटिव एम आई करेक्ट तो इनमें से पॉजिटिव एसोसिएशन किसकी है पॉजिटिव एसोसिएशन इज ए बी एंड डी एम आई करेक्ट नेक्स्ट यहां पे ये भी दे हैव आल्सो गिवन यू दिस आंसर 95 परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल्स ये कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल ध्यान से सुन लो दिस इज द लास्ट पॉइंट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल को कैसे देखते हैं हाउ डू यू लुक एट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल लुक एट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल आपने इनकी क्या करनी है यू हैव टू सी द रेंज रेंज देखिए आप इनकी सो अगर रेंज के अंदर इफ विद इन द रेंज विद इन द रेंज अगर वैल्यू वन आ जाती है इफ विद इन द रेंज वैल्यू वन फॉल्स विद इन द रेंज वन नंबर विद इन द रेंज आ जाता है दैट मींस दिस ऑर्ड रेशो इट बिकम्स अ नॉन सिग्निफिकेंट ऑर्ड रेशो ध्यान से मैं फिर से बोलूंगा अगर आपको रेंज देखनी है यू हैव टू लुक एट द रेंज इफ द रेंज कंटेन्स द वैल्यू वन वन नंबर इट इज कॉल्ड एज 
a non significant if the value 1 is not there it is called as significant for example option a ko dekho 2.58 1.5 to 6.4 to 1.5 to 6.4 hai na odds ratio hai na to isme value 1 agar aap number line pe draw karo ye 1 hua ye 2 hua ye 3 hua so ye piche ki taraf ye 0.9 hua ye 0.8 hua something like this so it goes from 1.5 to 6.4 that is somewhere here 1.5 से लेके 6.4 तक जा रही है। Are you getting this? So ये जो value one है बेटा, it is not within that range ना। Value one तो इस range में नहीं ना आई। So it is called as a significant positive odds ratio। जो ये वाली odds ratio है, can you see this uh, odds ratio? It is ranging from 0.4 to 4.3। अब बताओ, इसमें value one is there ना? It is ranging from 0.4 to 0.4 to 4.3 ऐसे इतनी बड़ी रेंज है इसकी। So the value one is within this range, so this becomes बेटा a non-significant odds ratio. Can you understand this? This becomes a non-significant. And D क्या है? ये भी significant है। Why? Because it is 1.1. ये one से परा one से आगे शुरू हो रही है। So which are which shows significant odds ratio? A is significant, D is significant, which does not show a significant risk answer. So what is the answer you would like to mark? Beta, the answer that you would be marking over here is option B. Ye thoda difficult MCQ hai. If you have understood, very nice. Otherwise, that's okay. But that was just for your point to be uh, seen. Like, how do you find out what odds ratio is there? Right? So, do baate karni hai. Aapko, you have to see whether the odds ratio is less than 1 or plus than 1. Next level pe aapko dekhna hai that uska 95% confidence interval. 95% beta uh, why not see because that is beta no, wo to waise bhi negative hai na. It is again this is non-significant and it is a negative association. It is non-significant and negative association. Did you get this? So pehle aapko kya dekhna hai you have to see whether the odds ratio is less than 1 plus 1 or equal to 1. Next is you have to see the confidence interval and you have to check if it contains value 1. If it contains value 1, it becomes non-significant. If it does not contain, it is a significant. Right? Coming to the next one. Coming to the next one. Which of the following is not correct? So negative or positive to based on odds ratio tha na, less than one or more than one beta shimam. Next is which of the following is not correct. Odds ratio if more than one indicates positive. True or false? Yes, this is true. Attributable risk is amount of disease among the exposed group. True or false? Attributable risk is amount of disease among the exposed group. Kya bolte ho? True or false? It is true. Relative risk is calculated in cohort studies. This is also true. Specificity of association is most es essential to establish causality beta. This answer is the wrong one. It is not correct. It is false one. It is least essential. It is least essential. Specificity of association is most difficult to establish. Most dis difficult to establish to establish causality. So please remember that option number one, two and three are correct. Option number D is not correct which is the most essential criteria which is the most essential criteria to establish causal association you remember hills criteria biological plausibility dose response coherence specificity temporality or validity so which is the most essential criteria temporality it is most important criteria is temporality temporality is the most important criteria which is the most difficult criteria Specificity is the most difficult criteria. Most difficult criteria is specificity of association. Next MCQ, Bergsonian bias refers to bias arising from. Pata -pata se bolo. Bergsonian bias is a bias which arises from. I'm waiting for your answers. It's quick round of uh, MCQs again. What do you want to say? Bergsonian bias is bias arising from. Different rates of admission to the hospital. Absolutely correct. It is from different rates of admission to the hospital. 
ये काफी दफा पूछते हैं बायस के ऊपर बायस इज वॉट टाइप ऑफ एरर रैंडम एरर और सिस्टमैटिक एरर इट इज अस्टमैटिक एरर प्लीज मैच द फॉलोइंग कौन सा कर, कौन करेगा मैच द फॉलोइंग लीडिंग क्वेश्चन वर आस वट इज दिस आपको मैच करने हैं ये लिस्ट को एंड ये लिस्ट को मैच करो मैच द फॉलोइंग लीडिंग क्वेश्चन वर आस वट इज द बेस्ट आंसर लीडिंग क्वेश्चन वर आस इट इज कॉल्ड एज इंटरव्यूअर बायस डिफरेंशियल एबिलिटी टू रिकॉल बिटवीन ग्रुप्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज रिकॉल बायस डिफरेंशियल हॉस्पिटल एडमिशन रेट्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज बर्थसोनियन बायस Differential mortality rates between two groups, incidence and prevalence bias, it is called as Neyman bias. Neyman bias. Change in attitudes while under observation. Change in attitudes while under observation. It is called as it is called as uh, Hawthorne effect. It is called as Hawthorne effect. Loss to follow up is what we call as attrition bias. Loss to follow up is what we call as attrition bias. Very nice, Swati Kumari. Change in attitude while under observation is Hawthorne effect. Very good. Loss to follow up is attrition bias. Randomization, which is not true. What is not true regarding randomization? What is not true regarding randomization? It is known chance, equal chance. It removes selection bias done while selecting subjects for a study. Which of the following is not true? It is known chance. This is true. Equal chance. True. It removes selection bias. It is done while selecting. Nahi hota. It is done while allocating. It is done while allocating the subjects to the study. It is option number D is the correct answer. It is done while allocation of the subjects to the study. All of the following are proxy measures of incubation period except all of the following are incubation period proxy measures except serial interval period of communicability latent period generation time what do you want to say all of the following are proxy indicators of incubation period except kya bolte ho serial interval period of communicability latent period generation time kya bolte ho it is period of communicability absolutely correct beta वेरी नाइस इट इज पीरियड ऑफ कम्युनिकेबिलिटी बिकॉज ये सारे जो है ये सारे इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड ही होते हैं ऑल दीज आर इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड एक्सेप्ट द पीरियड ऑफ कम्युनिकेबिलिटी लेट एंड पीरियड जनरेशन टाइम आई होप यू ऑल नो वट इज इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड इज द टाइम डिफरेंस बिटवीन एंट्री ऑफ पैथोजन एंड द फर्स्ट साइन एंड सिम्टम वट इज जनरेशन टाइम Generation time, it is the time difference between entry of the infectious agent and the maximum communicability. What is serial interval? Serial interval is the time difference between the primary case and the secondary case. So all are in all are almost equal to incubation period. Serial interval be incubation period ke equal hota hai. Incubation period to hai hi hai. Period of communicability is not dependent on the incubation period. right what is primary case index and the secondary case what is primary case primary is the first case in the community what is index case it is the first observed case and secondary cases are the secondary cases which arise from the primary case right so isme answer is period of communicability a carrier stage that emerges from a subclinical stage is called as fatafat se boliye a carrier stage that emerges from a subclinical case is called as what do you want to say a carrier stage that emerges from a subclinical case is called as incubatory carriers chronic healthy or convalescent beta carrier stage which arises from a subclinical case is called as healthy carrier this is the technical definition of healthy carrier a carrier stage that emerges from a subclinical case is called as healthy carriers what are healthy carriers you already know you already know ke ye timeline hota hai disease mein that initially there is incubation period then there is a clinical case and then there is a convalescent case agar log isme phailana shuru karte hain what are these called as if people spread in this area these people are called as convalescent carriers if people spread during incubation period these are called as incubatory carriers am i correct am i correct now what are healthy carriers convalescent carriers who spread during convalescence incubatory who spread during incubation period chronic carrier who will spread for long time when do you say chronic carriers chronic carriers will spread for more than 6 months mcq sirf isme ek hai that typhoid is known to spread for more than 1 year it is called as chronic carrier 
सो जनरली स्पीकिंग इफ यू गेट अ क्वेश्चन हु इज अ क्रोनिक कैरियर आंसर इज सिक्स मंथ्स अगर क्वेश्चन आए व्हेन डू यू कॉल अ क्रोनिक कैरियर इन टाइफॉइड देन द टाइफॉइड द आंसर हैज टू बी वन ईयर सो मेक श्योर यू गेट दिस क्वेश्चन राइट नो बडी विल आस्क यू अबाउट इनक्यूबेटरी एंड कॉन्वलेसेंट कैरियर्स यू कैन जस्ट फॉरगेट दिस बट यस यू शुड नो दैट व्हिच आर द डिजीजेस व्हिच आर क्रोनिक कैरियर्स व्हिच आर द डिजीजेस व्हिच आर क्रोनिक कैरियर्स टाइफॉइड मेनिनजाइटिस मलेरिया डिसेंट्री एचपीवी एंड गोनोरिया बट मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली यू शुड आल्सो नो what is a healthy carrier beta healthy carrier healthy carrier is a carrier which arises from a subclinical case or a non virulent strain and its example is what you already know it is community medicine is dpt community medicine is dpt cholera meningitis diphtheria typhoid and polio community medicine is dpt that is what is healthy carriers if you recall these are what are healthy carriers right so what is the best answer over here that uh, arises from a subclinical case answer is healthy carriers <clears throat> one more mcq in an outbreak of dengue hemorrhagic fever ek an numerical sa question hai in an outbreak of dengue hemorrhagic fever in small community in last 25 in last year 25 cases i out of which 5 have died total population is 20000 which will be the case fatality rate what will be the case fatality rate bolo fatafat se what will be the case fatality rate thank you so much prince shabra and uh, iska answer bataiye shabash which is the case fatality rate how do you calculate the case fatality rate beta how do you calculate the case fatality rate case fatality rate is given by the total number of deaths due to a particular disease divided by the total number of cases of the same disease into 100 so for a particular disease you will have case fatality rate deaths divided by total cases how many deaths have happened total 5 deaths had happened total 5 deaths have happened and how many cases were there 25 cases were there so 5 over 25 into 100 that is the correct answer option number b is the correct answer option number b is the correct answer secondary waves are seen in common source single exposure common source multiple exposure propagated epidemics and all of the above kya bolte ho secondary waves are seen in what do you want to say common source single exposure common source multiple rapid fire round please buck up please tell me the answers it is secondary waves are seen in it is common source multiple exposure secondary waves are seen in common source absolutely correct very proud of you guys very nice uh it is single source single uh, common source sing uh, multiple exposure that is for uh that is for common source multiple exposure secondary waves that is for secondary waves if you remember this graph which you must have seen many times in your uh, workbooks also this was there epidemic types what are the epidemic types there are broad three categories of epidemic types we can have broad three categories of epidemic types single exposure single source that you used to call it as what do you call it as seps then we also had multiple exposure single source what do you call it as we call it as meps and third indicator third type of epidemic was the propagated epidemic these are the three epidemics single source point source single exposure point source rapid rise rapid fall all cases happen within one incubation period multiple exposures it is secondary waves rapid rise with persistently high cases and propagated epidemics it is person to person transmission and gradual decline in cases so this is the same graph you must have seen and this is the same question which has been asked multiple times in your previous exams also common source multiple exposure this is where we see secondary waves what is sensitivity beta a few questions from biostacks what is sensitivity what is sensitivity what is sensitivity sensitivity is given by what do you want to say rapid fire i know you must be tired so am i but theek uh, hai fada fada se karte hain 10 15 minute mein khatam karte hain last topic hai last ke i think 5 or 6 questions bache hain for finishing the whole syllabus on community medicine see you guys have finished फुल पी एस एम सिलेबस एंड नेक्स्ट इन दिस फोर फाइव आवर्स हमने चार पांच घंटे का लेक्चर ले लिया अभी तक और पांच घंटे पूरी पी एस एम आपने खत्म करी है राइट फ्रॉम 
mother child health to immunization to vaccines to epidemiology to biostats so infectious disease communicable disease national health programs sab kuch kiya aapne disaster medicine health communication everything you have covered so true positive and total tested positive true negative total disease so what is the answer it is given by true positive divided by total disease it is given by true positive divided by total disease sensitivity is true positive divided by total disease jo ki option mein nahi hai this question is bekar answer you guys are not answering correctly swati kumari ne likh ke hi bhej diya ke yaar ye answer isme se to samajh nahi aa raha very nice swati kumari so very nice very nice baki sab try kar rahe the inme se koi nikalne ka it is true positive divided by true positive plus false negative that is true positive divided by total diseased it is true positive divided by total disease inme se koi nahi hai i'm sorry for the uh, wrong options this is incorrect so option nahi hai absolutely sahi baat hai sahi baat hai please remember this is what you already know that this is what is sensitivity what is sensitivity beta what is sensitivity sensitivity is given by true true positive divided by disease plus what is specificity it is given by true positive divided by disease negative so very simple you remember that there was this box you had the true positive true negative false positive and false negative hai na true positive divided by a total d plus this is d plus this is d minus so true positive divided by d plus ye kya tha beta sensitivity agar koi aapse puche true negative divided by d minus ye kya tha specificity agar koi aapse puche true positive ये कौन से है टेस्टेड पॉजिटिव एंड टेस्टेड नेगेटिव ट्रू पॉजिटिव डिवाइडेड बाय टेस्टेड पॉजिटिव ये क्या था पीपीवी एंड अगर कोई आपसे पूछे व्हाट इज ट्रू नेगेटिव डिवाइडेड बाय टेस्टेड नेगेटिव ये क्या था नेगेटिव प्रेडिक्टिव वैल्यू दिस इज व्हाट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर फॉर योर एग्जाम एंड दिस इज व्हाट वाज आस्क्ड इन योर एग्जाम मेनी मेनी टाइम्स एंड दिस इज ई ऑप्शन वेरी नाइस इट इज सेंसिटिविटी एंड स्पेसिफिसिटी कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट एमसीक्यू in a study income levels were categorized into low middle high income what is this income level nominal scale ordinal scale interval scale and ratio scale what do you want to say nominal scale ordinal scale interval scale or ratio scale income levels were classified into low middle and high what is this income level it is ordinal scale very nice this is what we call as the ordinal scale ordinal scale hota hai jahan pe order hota hai ya sequence hota hai nominal scale mein there is no sequence nominal scale is no sequence they both are types of the qualitative data they both are types of the qualitative data do you remember what was qualitative and quantitative the interval and ratio they both are types of quantitative data everything is ratio everything every example is of quantitative is a ratio scale except one example for interval example for interval is degree celsius or degree fahrenheit degree celsius or degree fahrenheit mein there is no absolute start or zero point zero point like you have zero degree celsius zero degree celsius se niche bhi to hota hai na so zero degree ka koi it's not the start point so that is the only example for interval scale everything else beta sodium levels blood glucose levels hemoglobin levels everything is a ratio scale so ratio is a true ratio that is every example sodium uh, blood glucose um, alt levels bilirubin levels potassium levels esr levels everything is a ratio scale okay it's which of the following is the mode in the data set kya bolte ho next mcq which of the following is the mode in the data set kya bolte ho easy question hai dekhne se hi answer pata chal jata hai which of the following is a mode in the data set it is 12 it is 12 mode is the 12 what is mode mode is the most frequently occurring number most frequently occurring number that is 12 that is mode systematic sampling true statement is kya bolte ho what is systematic sampling what is systematic sampling where do you take offline classes prince bhai sahab 
पता नहीं कहाँ कहाँ ऑफलाइन क्लासेस चलती हैं सो नॉट श्योर सिस्टमेटिक रैंडम सैम्पलिंग ट्रू स्टेटमेंट इज वट यू वॉन्ट टू से रैंडम नंबर आर यूज picking every fifth or tenth individual number of uh, possible samples is not reduced significantly taking every subject from each strata what do you want to say random systematic sampling random sampling what do you want to say systematic random sampling true statement is random numbers are used picking every fifth or tenth individual bolo bhai fada fada se why not 22 isme 22 bhi tha kya 22, ओह यस यार, आई 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 एग्री, 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 गलती से आ गया यार, 22 बाय मिस्टेक आ गया ओके ट्वेंटी टू कैन ऑल्सो बी देर आई एग्री ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेल्व बोथ कैन बी देर आई एग्री टू दिस ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेल्व बोथ कैन बी देर थैंक यू फॉर करेक्शन थैंक यू फॉर करेक्शन Systematic random sampling true statement is picking every fifth or tenth individual at the regular interval. This is what we call it as systematic random sampling, right? Taking every subject from each strata. What is this? Taking every subject. This is called as stratified sampling. Stratified sampling. Random numbers are used. This is called as simple random sampling. This is called as simple random sampling. Simple random sampling. so simple random sampling what is the best answer simple random sampling it is the best way of sampling it is the best way of sampling it is the best way of sampling that is simple random sampling stratified sampling will help you remove unknown confounders also you remember how do you remove unknown confounders how to remove unknown confounders r s s r you remember r s s r what is r s s r randomization standardization stratification and regression randomization standardization stratification and regression you remember this how do you treat unknown confounders unknown confounders are treated by r s s r randomization standardization stratification and regression chalo next mcq best way to plot the change of incidence of disease over time this is a seven star mcq it is the expected mcq in your exam best way to plot the change of incidence over time kya bolte ho best way to plot the change of incidence over time histogram line chart scatter o guide padavat se boliye very nice i'm proud of you guys it is line chart it is a line chart over time time aa gaya to answer has to be line chart very nice absolutely correct absolutely correct bolo fatafat say what is this bolo fatafat say what is this what is graph number a graph number a bar chart or a histogram kya bolte ho what is graph number a bar chart or a histogram with frequency on one axis and quantitative variable on the other and beech mein columns hai what is this a kya hai histo absolutely correct it is a histo what is option number b b kya hai between frequency and qualitative data what is b what is c d e f and g what is b b kya hai b is a bar chart absolutely correct b is a bar chart why because it is between the qualitative data what is c c is between quantitative data and quantitative and beech mein koi line banaya hai what is c c kya hai what is option c c c is with a line in between between frequency and quantitative data what do you want to say a very na it is a frequency polygon it is a frequency polygon formed by joining the midpoints of a histogram no it is not a line chart it is a frequency polygon it is a frequency polygon is spot map nahi hai beta c is not spot map c is what is a frequency polygon what is d option d between frequency and time what is between frequency and time ye kya hota hai between frequency and time this is what we have as line chart absolutely correct it is a line diagram between variable 1 and variable 2 kya bolte ho between two variables if we show a line or whatever between two variables 
E. E graph kya hai? Between two variables. It is not line chart. Between two variables, it is called as a scatter plot. Why do we call it as a scatter plot? Scatter plot is always between two quantitative variables. Yaad rakhna, scatter plot is always between two quantitative variables. Scatter plots helps you give what correlation. It helps you to find correlations. Correlation kya batata hai? It tells us about the direction and strength of association. It tells you both the direction and strength of correlation and association between two quantitative data. What is option F? F kya hai? What is option F? What is option F? F kya hai? F means this is a box and there are whiskers. Box and whisker. It is a box and whisker plot. What is option G? G kya hai? Olympic ka symbol nahi hai ye. G is for, G is for what? G is for overlapping qualitative data. What is that? Venn diagram. Kya baat hai? Very nice. It is for Venn diagram. Jab aap chote the, aap isi ko Olympic ke symbol ko pie chart bol diya karte the. Yaad hai class mein bhoat loog isko pie chart bolte the. This is not a pie chart. It is a Venn diagram. It is for overlapping qualitative data. Let's go to the next MCQ in a survey of sleep apnea. Beta, this question, I'm proud to say it was discussed in December 2021. And December 2022. And this question repeat. Hua. Repeat nahi hua. for the first time. I have to say that you 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 PSM Indra Dhanush karke, PSM Punch karke humne series shuru kari thi, jahaan pe I discussed this MCQ and next 6-8 mahinne ke baad, ye question aapka sakshat roop mein pichle FMG exam mein this year June, ye question was repeated, right? So, ye question is directly from uh, the lectures we had already taken. In a survey of sleep apnea among 10 people, highest recorded was 58, but was wrongly put as 85. Batao kya hoga? ये क्वेश्चन हमने दिसंबर 2022 में हमने डिस्कस किया 23 जून को 23 जून 2023 में ये क्वेश्चन आपके एफएमजी एग्जाम में आया दिस इफेक्ट ऑफ द फाइनल एंड ये 2022 के अंदर नीट में भी आया था सो दिस इफेक्ट ऑफ द फाइनल रिजल्ट विल बी व्हाट डू यू वांट टू से 58 की जगह 85 हो गया सो व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन द मीन विल बी हाई और लो the mean will be increased and median will remain same. Bilkul chike. Absolutely correct. Mean will be high and median will remain same. Absolutely correct. Which of the following statement for standard deviations is not true? Which of the following statements for standard deviations is not true? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? 1SD covers 95%. It indicates distribution applicable for normal area under curve is 1 and variance is 1. Absolutely correct answer. 1 SD is 95% distribution. That is wrong answer. 1 SD is 68%. 1 SD is 68% of the values. 1 SD 98 nahi tha. 1 SD 68 tha. 2 SD 95 tha. Okay. You remember that this is a normal distribution curve. Normal distribution curve which is also called as a Gaussian distribution. Area under curve is 1, SD is 1. You remember mean, median, mode, they all coincide. This is very important. It is a 5-star MCQ table, normal distribution curve, 5-star MCQ slide. So normal distribution curve, it is 5-star. The mean, median, mode coincide, area under curve is 1. Aapko ye bhi yaad hoga that between 1 and plus 1 and minus 1. Plus 1, minus 1 SD. Kitni percent janta thi? 68% between plus minus 2 SD. How many people? 95% between plus minus 3 SD. How many people? 99% of the population is going to lie. So that is what you need to remember. And when do we call it as a normal zone? Normal zone is when we take between plus minus 2 standard deviations. Mid-arm circumference of 10 children. Mid-arm circumference of 10 children was found to be 12 centimeters. The standard deviation of the sample is, kitnam bologe? Mid-arm circumference of 10 children was found to be 12 centimeters. The standard deviation of the sample is, kitna hoga? Batao? Any idea? Mid-arm circumference of 10 children was found to be 12. The standard deviation of the sample is, das bacho ka, bara, bara, Bara aya sabka. So answer kitna hua is ka standard division kitna hua is ka standard division zero hua beta. Is ka standard division zero hua. Why zero? 
बिकॉज बिल्कुल ठीक है मयंक सो प्राउड ऑफ यू वेरी नाइस बच्चे आंसर इज जीरो बिकॉज सबका इक्वल आया ना सो वट इज स्टैंडर्ड डिविशन यू रिमेम्बर स्टैंडर्ड डिविशन इज रूट मीन स्क्र डिविशन स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ मीन ऑफ स्क्वेयर डिविएशन एक्स माइनस एक्स बार एक्स माइनस एक्स बार होल स्क्वेयर दिस इज वॉट इज द स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन सो अगर आपका मीन वैल्यू एंड अगर आपके वेरिएबल भी सेम हो गया सो इट विल बिकम जीरो ना एस डी विल बिकम जीरो आई यू गेटिंग इट सो एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन इज जीरो ये कुछ स्लाइड्स हैं आपके लिए दिस स्लाइड्स विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन माय टेलीग्राम चैनल दी स्लाइड्स नॉट द होल पीडीएफ प्लीज नोट आई एम आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट ऑल द पीडीएफ ये कुछ नाम आप जानते होगे एम एम एफ सी बेटा वट इज एम एम एफ सी मुखमोहित मेरा नाम है एफ सी स्टैंड फॉर द फ्लैश कार्ड ओके ये फ्लैश कार्ड नंबर्ड है एंड दीज आर अवेलेबल ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम प्रोफाइल एंड यही फ्लैश कार्ड आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन माई टेलीग्राम ग्रुप so i will share with you my contact details you are very welcome to follow on instagram or in my telegram group so telegram group mein mujhe dhoondna aasan hai naam mukmohit hai mukmohit group search karoge aapko mil jayega so mm flash cards hain and you are very welcome to join this ye sare flash cards aapko beta exam ke liye available honge on my telegram channel i'm not saying the pdf for the class is available that is not available we do not have a way to give it to you सो so, यस yes, ये जो कुछ फ्लैश कार्ड है ये मैं आपके लिए बनाया हूँ बिकॉज काफी स्टूडेंट्स ने कल ही मैसेज में भी रिप, रिस, बोला था कि भी हमें चाहिए राइट right? मुझे लगा न्यू स्कीम आई है नहीं न्यू स्कीम नहीं आई है एफ एम एफ सी मुखमोहित की स्कीम आई है तो ये हमारी अपनी स्कीम है ये आप बच्चों के लिए स्कीम है जैसे पर्ल्स है ना हमारे मैरो ऐप में सो इन द सेम मैनर जैसे पर्ल्स है दैट इज लाइक मोर ऑर्गेनाइज वे ये मेरा छोटा सा एक एफर्ट है जो मेरा अपना एफर्ट है दीज आर फ्लैश कार्ड सो ये कलेक्शन ऑफ फ्लैश कार्ड है दिस इज टोटल सोशल मेडिसिन हमने एक ही उसमें करा ऐसे पूरा डिजास्टर का एक फ्लैश कार्ड है ऐसे ही पूरा हेल्थ मैनेजमेंट का एक फ्लैश कार्ड है ऐसे ही ऊपर इंटरनेशनल हेल्थ का एक फ्लैश कार्ड है एवरी चैप्टर विल हैव फ्लैश कार्ड सो देर आर मेनी फ्लैश कार्ड दीज आर द सजेस्टेड नॉर्म्स इन सब का आप स्क्रीन शॉट्स ले लीजिए एंड दीज विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर योर एग्जाम्स सजेस्टेड नॉर्म्स भारत देश में हमारे क्या नॉर्म्स है आशा वर्कर लैब टेक्नीशियन फार्मासिस्ट हेल्थ असिस्टेंट कितने होने चाहिए नर्सेस कितने होने चाहिए ये आपके लिए बहुत जरूरी है ये कुछ नई स्कीम्स है ऑलरेडी हमने बात कर लिया पीएमजे दैट इज प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना पोषण स्कीम ऑल दो स्टूडेंट्स जिन्होंने मेरी क्लासेस अटेंड करी हैं ऑफलाइन क्लासेस उनको हमने वर्क बुक्स दी थी वर्क बुक्स में ये सब कुछ अवेलेबल है बेटा यू डोंट नीड टू बैंग योर हेड एनी सो वर्क बुक्स के अंदर ये सब कुछ अवेलेबल होता है पीएम पोषण स्कीम दैट इज ओवर आर्किंग स्कीम फॉर होलिस्टिक नरिशमेंट ये ऑलरेडी हमने बात कर लिया जय विज्ञान इट इज अ प्रोस्पेक्टिव एमसीक्यू फाइव स्टार एमसीक्यू जय विज्ञान इट इज फॉर रोमैटिक फीवर प्रेबलेंस इन इंडिया टू डिक्रीज रोमैटिक फीवर प्रेबलेंस ट्रेप्टोकोकल इन्फेक्शन वैक्सीन डेवलपमेंट फॉर रोमैटिक फीवर इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द फ्यू कंट्रीज एंड वी आर वेरी प्राउड टू से दैट ऑल द प्रोसीजियस इंस्टीट्यूट एम्स पीजीआई चंडीगढ़ दे आर वर्किंग फॉर वैक्सीन डेवलपमेंट फॉर रोमैटिक फीवर एंड वी आर हैविंग ब्रेक थ्रू Uh, like uh, breakthroughs in this vaccine development so that is jay vigyan mission for rheumatic fever streptococcal infections vayoshri is for elderly population what is ujjwala ujjala ujjavala ujjala means light bulb hai na ujjala light bulb led bulb ujjwala that is for lpg fuels ujjavala kal aapne baat kari ujjavala that is for human trafficking right then we also have mission indradhanush and indradhanush scheme mission indradhanush is for vaccines indradhanush scheme esi ke liye clean bed sheets hain they are sometimes very difficult to remember aur ye bar bar ek hi jagah aate rehte hain right <coughs> jam psm ka hum kuch yun piya kya baat hai are yaar wo delete ho gaya padhne se pehle hi delete ho gaya oh oh i missed it i'm sorry yaar i missed it i'm sorry for missing that out and aapka jo bhi reason raha hoga but wo mere sath baat share zarur karna yaar kisi tarah mere tak pahunchao to sahi aap kehna kya cha rahe the jam psm ka piya to achhi baat hai yaar piya to jam piya hum theek hai chai pi rahe hain so mission indradhanush scheme and indradhanush scheme ye pata hona chahiye this is you already have done it so many times mmr target kya hai beta mmr metal mortality ratio metal mortality ratio it should be less than 70 neonatal mortality less than 12 under 5 mortality less than 
एंड द टीबी एपिडेमिक एच आईवी एपिडेमिक वन थर्ड प्री मेच्योर डेथ हमने कम करनी है ये कल कुछ स्टूडेंट बोल रहा था कि मुझे फॉर्मूला चाहिए भी एक ही जगह चाहिए सारे फॉर्मूला जाम पीएसएम का हम कुछ यूं पिया करते हैं कि घुट घुट के हम जब भी मरते हैं मोहित सर का जाम पिया करते हैं क्या बात है मजा ही आ गया वाह जी वाह तनवीर अहमद सो नाइस वेरी नाइस थैंक यू सो मच एंड वाह जी वाह बहुत अच्छा लगा भगवान करे कि आपको सक्सेस का भी जाम इस दफा पीने को मिले और सक्सेस भी ऐसा छोटा मोटा नहीं एक सौ के करीब सक्सेस हो तो मजा आएगा थैंक यू सो मच एंड होप कि आप सब लोगों का इस दफा जो जाम रहेगा वो असल में 200 पार करके ही जाम मिलेगा सो so, ये कुछ स्टूडेंट बोल रहे थे यार सारे फॉर्मूला एक जगह चाहिए इतने डिटेल की आपको जरूरत नहीं है एटलीस्ट यू रिमेम्बर वॉट इज स्पेसिफिसिटी सेंसिटिविटी वॉट इज एट्रीब्यूटेबल रिस्क ये एट्रीब्यूटेबल रिस्क का आप फॉर्मूला मांग रहे थे दैट इज एट्रीब्यूटेबल रिस्क एंड पॉपुलेशन एट्रीब्यूटेबल रिस्क सो एट्रीब्यूटेबल पॉपुलेशन एट्रीब्यूटेबल रिलेटिव रिस्क ऑर्ड्स रेशो का फॉर्मूला पढ़ लेना देन यू डोंट नीड दिस एब्सोल्यूट रिस्क रिडक्शन सेंसिटिविटी जरूर पढ़ लेना इतना डिटेल नहीं चाहिए व्हाट इज वेरिएंस एंड स्टैंडर्ड डिविशन आप पढ़ चुके हो नेक्स्ट इज पी एस एम स्मार्ट पी एस एम फॉर्मूला पेज नंबर टू ये जी एफ आर तो टेन स्टार एम सी क्यू है बेटा हर साल एग्जाम में पूछते ही पूछते हैं वॉट इज जी एफ आर टी एफ आर जी आर आर एंड एन आर आर पर्ल्स इंडेक्स क्या होता है ये जरूर पढ़ना डिपेंडेंसी रेशो नेट प्रोटीन यूटिलाइजेशन करेक्टेड इफेक्टिव टेम्परेचर ये काफी दफा एग्जाम में पूछे जाते हैं लेटेस्ट हमारा जो वेरिएंट ऑफ कंसर्न कोविड 19 जो हमारा बहुबली कोविड 19 है स्टार्ट हुए थे हम डेल्टा वेरिएंट से बेटा स्टार्ट तो अफकोर्स अल्फा से हुए थे बट इंडिया में जो तहलका मचा था वो मई दो के अंदर डेल्टा वेरियंट से मचा था एंड आज की डेट में हमारे पास जो स्ट्रेन है दैट इज ओमिक्रॉन स्ट्रेन ओमिक्रॉन स्ट्रेन इज द सर्कुलेटिंग स्ट्रेन एंड अब जो नई वैक्सीन आ रही है दे आर ऑल्सो ओमिक्रॉन बेस्ड एंड विद दैट बेटा ये मेरा टेलीग्राम का ग्रुप है फेसबुक पे आप मुझे फॉलो करो ना करो अगर आप मैरो लिंग्स ग्रुप में है देन यू आर अमंग दीजियस पीपल इन द कंट्री एंड मैरो लिंग्स ग्रुप में फर्क ये है कि वहां पे सब फैकल्टी लोग आपके लिए बैठे हैं एंड दे आर ट्राइंग टू हेल्प यू इन अचीविंग योर गुड स्कोर एंड ये एक क्वालिटी एजुकेशन है इट्स नॉट अबाउट जस्ट अ बिजनेस हाउस एंड ये हमारा टेलीग्राम ग्रुप है इंस्टा के ऊपर यू हैव इंस्टाग्राम पे यू कैन फॉलो ऑल माई फ्लैश कार्ड यू कैन फॉलो ऑल माई फ्लैश कार्ड ऑन द इंस्टाग्राम यही पे सारा अपडेट्स आते हैं यही पे सारी अपडेट्स आती हैं राइट right? चलो एंड विद दैट थैंक यू सो मच ये हमारे पांच साढ़े पांच घंटे की थोड़ी हमारी कोशिश रही थी अभी टाइम बहुत हो गया यार नौ बजने वाले हैं और ये टाइम बहुत हो गया है एंड शाबाश शेरो आप लोगों के लिए थैंक यू है फॉर अटेंडिंग दिस होल सेशन एंड दैट्स इट एनी डाउट्स यू हैव एनी थिंग यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क अफकोर्स अभी डाउट्स तो होंगे नहीं आपके बट एनी डाउट्स यू हैव ए भाई साहब फिर शायरी सुनोगे कितनी शायरी सुनते हो तुम लोग कितनी शायरी सुनते हो ग्रेट भैया मैं नहीं हूं ग्रेट आप लोग हो जिन्होंने तीन घंटे पीएसएम सुना है ना ग्रेट मैं नहीं हूं ग्रेटनेस तो आप लोगों की है दैट यू स्टडीड थ्री आवर्स ऑफ पीएसएम टुडे और कल भी ढाई तीन घंटे तो कल लगाया सो so, आप ग्रेट तो आप लोगों मैं जब एमबीबीएस कर रहा था ना मेरे प्यार से बात सुनना मैं जब एमबीबीएस कर रहा था भाई कौन एमबीबीएस सुनता है कौन एमबीबीएस में पीएसएम सुनता है आपने कभी हाइजीन का लेक्चर अटेंड किया है मुझे सच में बताओ सो हाइजीन का कोई लेक्चर अटेंड करता है सो ये वीडियो यूट्यूब पे रहेगा ये मैरो के बड़े लोग जानते होंगे टीम पूरी डिसाइड करेगी बेटा मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली आई रिक्वेस्ट देम कि ये वीडियो रहे थोड़ी देर के लिए तो एटलीस्ट बाकी आई कैन नॉट से एनी थिंग बट ऑफकोर्स कुछ देर के लिए दिस वीडियो शुड बी अवेलेबल सो वीडियो शुड बी देर ठीक है जी एनी डाउट्स एफ एम जी वाले सुनते हैं पी एस एम वो तो सुनना पड़ेगा अपनी मुसीबत को ए भाई योगेंद्र फिर फिर शायरी सुनोगे अच्छा सुनो फिर हम्म ये अजब दृश्य है सुन लो ये एफ एम जी बच्चों के लिए है कि ये अजब दृश्य है चल रहा मनुष्य है ये अजब दृश्य है चल रहा मनुष्य है धरा हिला गगन उगुंजा नदी बहा पवन चला रुके न तू थके न तू थमे न तू झुके न तू रुके न तू झमे न तू विजय तेरी विजय तेरी 
धनुष उठा बाण चला एंड होप कि आप डेढ़ सौ या दो सौ पार इस दफा करें विजय तेरी विजय तेरी अगर आप बेटा ऑनेस्ट हो तो जमीन तुम्हारा आसमान तुम्हारा ये पूरा कायनात तुम्हारे लिए कोशिश करेगा दैट यू विल स्कोर थ्रू योर एग्जाम्स बट यू हैव टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट टू योर सेल्फ यू कैन चीट एनी इन द वर्ल्ड किसी को भी आप बोल दो कि हाँ भी हम तो पढ़ाई कर रहे हैं बट अपने आप से कभी नहीं चीटिंग कर सकते मेरी जो पहली लाइन थी इस शायरी की वो आप लोगों के लिए थी बेटा ये अजब दृश्य है चल रहा मनुष्य है खून में लथ पथ लथ पथ रुके ना तू थके ना तू झुके ना तू रुके ना तू धमे ना तू झमे ना तू सो मेक श्योर दैट यू आर डूइंग वॉट यू आर सपोज टू डू एट दिस टाइम एंड होप दैट आप लोग अपना एग्जाम क्लियर करें एंड आई होप के ये जो आगे, आगे आने वाले डेढ़ दो महीने हैं दो महीने है ना सो so ये जो आगे आने वाले डेढ़ दो महीने हैं दीज आर गोइंग टू डिटर्मिन वॉट टाइप ऑफ डॉक्टर यू आर गोइंग टू बिकम इन योर इन योर लाइफ यू हैव टू बी वेरी क्लियर के वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम देर आर आई ऑलवेज से इन द क्लास देर आर सो मेनी डॉक्टर्स इन इंडिया बट टू बी अ डॉक्टर इट्स ईजी एंड टू बी अ बेटर डॉक्टर is what is going to make the difference so meri bhagwan se prarthna hai ki hum sab logo ko itni sadbuddhi de aur itni shamta de ki hum log uh, itna padhai karke logo ki help kar paye that we uh, are able to perform our duties in the most respectful and dignified way and with that thank you so much for attending this whole session on psm i wish you all guys the very best of luck and have a good night